Hello, my computer duders. Probably should not have put off uh, eating until so late today, such that it overlapped with uh, my streaming time. Security guard. Nothing could be scarier than minimum wage. Let's have a go. Oh man, the texture loading. Oh, my eyes. I should go check the main office now. I don't think I'll do that, however. Uh, what's happening? Is this game working? Is this frozen? None of the buttons do anything. It's 9 p.m. I should go check the main office now. Uh, clicking does nothing. Arrow keys, nothing. WSD, nothing. Spacebar button. Enter, nothing. Escape, nothing. Game does not work. Not a functional game. Well, that's the first step down. I probably should have tested these. <coughs> Let's do a... Uh one of these is going to be a visual novel, which should be interesting. This looks like just another Silent Hill-like. <coughs> pardon me, pardon me. I'm dying. What's up, Zulu? Look at what now? You coming to my house, screaming at me? It better be good. Forty-four months, that's quite impressive. I have a friend in you, certainly. You've been a very reliable supporter for a long time. Hope you're enjoying your one-of-a-kind habitat, which you'll be able to show to people someday and, and be like... I knew the crazy man before he was uh, on the news for whatever I'm going to do. Let's see, where's my fucking drink? Oh, I don't have... Okay, that'll do. I guess. Got an Arizona green tea. I don't know if Vaporwave is the right vibe for this. Okay, so I guess uh, only one act is available. Hang on. Did I fuck something up, or is this normal? I guess, um... The demo only includes Act 2. Press R B to zoom the camera in and get additional information about items and surroundings. Will do. Man, I woke up crazy dehydrated today for some reason. I think I might have left my water bottle at the gym. There's this huge fat old guy who always comes in the gym and he just he just goes on the hand peddler. 
whatever you call that thing, for like an hour. I always want to encourage him. <laughs> Good on him. In his old age for trying to, to uh, focus on fitness. Never too late to make sound choices with respect to your personal health. Okay, um, the X bone doesn't work. <clears throat> Touchpad works on Steam Controller, left thumbstick does not. Sup, Hail Hydra? We're playing a yet another uh, clone of Silent Hill. Complete with the music and everything. Looks like a Counter-Strike mod. What is this made in? Is this just first person sound? Hell, it might be. You get Iron Sights. Iron Sights con confirmed. Oh, you two can become radio buddies. <coughs> I don't know about the formula for this game. This is just... Oh, what happened? This legit sounds like ripped audio from SH2. <coughs> okay. Is that Russian? That's Ru that's Russian or Ukrainian. I go this way? I guess it's open world. I guess you can just walk along the road. <clears throat> I have nothing bad to say yet. I don't like the idea of this. I think Silent Hill... I don't know about first person Silent Hill. And also the fact that it feels like an actually first person shooter. I don't like it. But all the mechanics in this game for a first person shooter are apparently present and accounted for. It doesn't look poorly made. I don't know about this FOV though. Can I change it? I can. Maybe. That's better. <coughs> oh, it does do to a third person. Oh, that's weird. You can still mouse aim in third person. What the fuck am I playing? I've never seen that done in a game before. Without a laser sight or whatever, how would that even work? <clears throat> this is going to be the future after the singularity and and nobody has employability anymore. It'll just be us bros playing virtual VR games networked by ham radio. <clears throat> Are y'all feeling this? Like the concept of first person Silent Hill? If you didn't have the tactical gloves on, I'd feel better about it. This really just feels like a Counter-Strike uh, counter custom map, apparently. Like, part of the, of the spook factor of Silent Hill was the clumsy combat. Which sounds like trying to make a feature out of a bug. Like, oh, they made it, the combat shitty on purpose. But if you were really if effective at combat, it wouldn't be realistic. Like, a regular person isn't going to be able to effortlessly kill a, like a Silent Hill creature. A regular person would probably struggle with, with committing a murder for the first time in their lives, especially against an inhuman monster because of fear and whatnot, and clunky controls are a fine way to simulate that if you don't want to get into, like, D&D &D skill trees and shit. Got a blood moon shard. I have no idea what... Oh, what, what is that thing? What is that thing? 
What is that? What the fuck is that? It gets slower as it's injured. I like that. There's some kind of stats being calculated. It continues to twitch also. I like that too. <coughs> this looks quite different from anything I've... From, I guess maybe this isn't Silent Hill clone. Except for the fog and the music. I may have spoken too soon. It's like a fucking 90s RPG where there's just a fog over the world and monsters have begun to appear. Or Stephen King's The Mist. Isn't it interesting to think that you guys are taking up a hobby that was all the rage in like 1920? And never really went away? Like, radio, when radio was like the high tech new thing to be into? And there, everybody had to build their own radios from kits? That's what Radio Shack was originally for, for hobbyist radio operators. It doesn't run well. Um, I gotta say, I, I don't hate this so far. Everything is competently made. What is this? Who dare? And my game froze. Give me that gun. Fuck you, that's a gun. Give it to me. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't pick up a shotgun. I've ranted about this before in horror games where they show you really obviously useful items that just be for, because of contrivance relative to the story, they just don't let you get it. It's kind of analog, ham radio. It's like sort of Tesla punk technology. It's tech, but it's like early tech. Sending invisible waves through the air to communicate in an analog format. Although I, I think modern digital radio might be digital, I don't know. This also has atomic heart vibes, kind of. Oh god, what is that? An acid fly. I see. I have dangerously low health. Uh, let, me, let me see. Do I have um, medicine? Here we go. Yeah, I can't use those. These only stop bleeding. Well, everything um, works. There's more here in the way of content and mechanics than you would expect to see in an indie game, you have to admit. That used to be the coolest shit. I used, uh, my dad kept a whole bunch of back issues of um, popular mechanics. And they talked about portable radios as like this futuristic thing. Showing like guys in um, early Model T Fords with a radio that they could talk to other automobile operators with. Which is I guess just early CB. When you are riding your automobile... Don't be caught without your radio. You may have need of portable telecommunications equipment in this modern, fast-paced age of the Roaring Twenties. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh god. I 
many cliffs do I have left? Uh, I mean, some of these designs are relatively original. I kind of got my fill of Silent Hill clones when I played Organ Quarter. Organ Quarter at least has a more original story and doesn't use the fog. It's more like a world corrupted by out of control, self replicating um, organ tissue. It frustrates me that the, the dev didn't, didn't stick to it. Um, they patched up all the bugs. But there were issues with like level design where I guess they reached a point of diminishing returns where not, not enough people bought the game to justify continued work on it. They should have. It, it's like It's still basically the only game of its kind for VR. Unreal Engine 5.1. Really? That can't be true. This is Unreal Engine 5? It sure fucking doesn't look like it. What is this? Oh, shit lets me run. How can this be UE5? I guess the tool is only as good as the hand that wields it. That's a good thing to have. Um, in this modern day and age, you can not only be your own power power company, by owning portable solar panels and a battery suitcase, <clears throat> you can be your own telecommunications company by having a portable ham radio that can run off of that very same power and solar panel equipment. It's getting to where you can replicate most of the big innovations of the past century in a, in a form that will fit in your car. I have no bullets. Hmm. What else can you fit in your portably? You can be your own waste. You can be your own sanitation company with, with the filtration equipment that ex exists now, including portable um, reverse osmosis kits for like boats. I don't know if I'd want to try. But uh, if you wanted to, you could um, use equipment like that to set up a small community. Like some of the stuff is only borderline portable. It's if, if it's designed for boats, but it could support like a couple cabins if you wanted to economically establish a small off-grid community of you and a couple buddies. You could have all the fresh water you want, all the power you want. Something short out in the fuse box. Oh, this voice acting. Huh. That's Kino. Vacuum tubes are neat. I love old technology. I also love those old rail rail flashlights. Like the big clunky ones that use lead batteries. Like they're they're made out of aluminum and they have a big battery box slung underneath them and they have a handle and they have like a big You know what I mean? Rail workers use them.
Uh, Renault is super genius. Converted one of those to run off of lithium uh, ion batteries. Presumably for like a week at a time. Just by packing a bunch of 18650s in there. And you could fit a lot of 18650s into that same space. And you'd create like an ultra powered, bright, long lived flashlight. Which, I mean, if you go caving, you'll actually get quite a bit of use out of. This reminds me of the footage of the war in Ukraine. Have you all been keeping up with that? There's various places. I'm not going to say them on Twitch, but there's places online where you can get drone footage of dudes being killed in Ukraine. I'm still skeptical of the mainstream coverage, which is always just rosy for Ukraine no matter what. But based on the leaked footage, even from the Russian side, the, the, I don't know if the Russians know what they're doing. I mean, I, I guess it's down to the quality of the, the people they're able to conscript now, which are mostly not trained soldiers. But uh, there's this footage of them rushing, uh, a, like running directly away from a tank instead of taking a, a le left or a right into bushes or trees, and just getting fucking mowed down. It's gruesome, but I, I mean, it's easy to play armchair general too. If you're scared. You're not thinking straight, necessarily, if, especially if you don't have military training. So that could be part of it. I wish we could see stuff like that in Western media. I mean, it's not even like it contradicts the prevailing narrative. It reinforces it, if anything. They just don't show us gruesome stuff. It's like we're all babies. It's just babby mode. Like, we can't handle seeing dudes die in Europe. Then I don't know how to explain it. The, the, the footage I'm seeing are not people who know what they're doing. At least it doesn't seem that way. There's a lot of Russians dying in those, in those videos. Where does that information come from? It depends where you get your information from and whether you believe it. Different sources say different things about it. It makes it really hard to get a clear picture of what's going on. Well, I don't have a. Do I have a key? I have a guard's key. I have, I have two keys, actually. Come on, it's frozen. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what the outcome's gonna be. Let me, uh, see if this will work. Actually, wait a minute. Wasn't there a guard's hut earlier? How do we know how they identify? Anyway, it's interesting to get a behind the scenes glimpse of stuff the media won't show us. I'm glad it's possible to access that stuff still. It's also really fascinating to, to witness um, one of the first modern wars where drones are a huge factor. I, I mean like quad rotors, because it gets incredible footage. I know it's a per weird, perverse thing to say, but it, it is fascinating. There we go. Do I have a flashlight? It's all done through the menu. What 
ворота 0 и 1 снова сломаны и не работают. Но у ворот 2 накрыли сенсоры, закрываются, как только через них кто-то пройдет. Из-за этого толганого щитка летит в сель. Окей. Okay. Can I read this? I can. What do you mean loading? What do you mean loading? What's happening? Is this like the VHS tapes in Resident Evil 7? Where you don't just watch them on a TV, you play them? I mean, who invaded who? Wasn't it Russia that invaded Ukraine? I would say that makes a pretty sizable difference in terms of who NATO or who UN supports. That seems to get lost in all these conversations when people do Putinist apologetics. Like we're gonna forget who invaded who. It seems I'm outnumbered though, so I guess we'll talk about other topics. What? Oh shit. Okay, so... That's not real. That I know of. I've never heard of Ukraine committing any genocide. I know that's what Russia says. Okay, I appear to reset the map. I have never heard that from anybody. I've heard that Russia lies about stuff like that. I haven't seen any coverage of that, what you're talking about. I'll have to research that on my own time, I suppose. I think people who are already right-wing and religious especially are going to naturally be inclined to side with the uh, right-wing religious Putinist regime. Right or wrong, because that's what they want to see more of in the world. In which case, if it comes down to politics, there's no point in arguing it. Oh, there's another key being held by that one guy. Oh, well that's not a genocide. If they were like putting people in camps and gassing them, that's a genocide. If they were continuing a, a military assault. I haven't seen that. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not going to take anyone's word for it. I'll have to look look it up myself. I am, as I have demonstrated, looking at sources that are not that are outside of what the media shows us. I do wish we saw more of that, that kind of thing. I don't think that really warrants taking over a country, though. I don't, I don't know what the connection is between those two things. Okay, Zulu, you're right. You win the argument. I support Russia now. Can we please get on with the stream? I'm trying to focus on 
fucking killing spooner dogs. According to what's now, I'm, I, I need to stop arguing, otherwise, I won't be able to stream. Can I avoid this guy? I can go around here, I think. Well, let's. Oh, well, you know what? I. Mm, I died somehow. Probably from not. not bandaging my bleeding wound. While we wait for that to load, why don't we, uh, what's happening here? Bing? No, I don't want Bing open. I never want Bing open. Let's look at some of my bots I created recently. Uh, I spent part of today creating bots based on... Wait for it. Wait for it. Alfred Lawson, Wilhelm Reich, and Hans Horbiger. Who do you want to talk to? It's probably off screen for you because this is 21 by 9 monitor. You got the World Ice Theory guy. You've got the Orgone guy, and you got the Lossonomy Los guy. Also, I've got uh, Gene Ray, the Time Cube guy, and Terry Davis, which I did not create. So we can put them all into a group chat together, if you want. Terry Davis, Time Cube guy, and, all, and the other three. Any votes? In ten seconds, I'm going to choose for you. Okay, uh, we'll do Wilhelm Reich. Probably everyone here already knows him. Save and start a new chat. Throw out questions you'd like me to ask. Actually, you know what? You know, I can do all these at once. Terry Love, Terry Davis. Okay, Terry Davis. I don't know what he's going to say, so I'm kind of scared. I don't think he can say anything that will get me demonetized. Throw out some questions. How about tell me about Temple OS? Anything I see in chat, I'll ask him. Temple OS is a Christian operating system I created that's 100% pure and original code. Every piece of software is written by me. Everything under, is under a single license. It's completely open source with no code hiding. I coded it under guidance of God. I coded it so I could have a connection to God, have a personal connection with God. Well, you repeated yourself a couple times there, Terry. That's all right, though. Um, what are its specs? Only desking operating system, which is written in Holy See. It runs on top of a 64-bit hypervisor. Using 100% pure assembly code for the hypervisor as well as the entire OS. Wow, really? There's no calls made to any kernel functions. There's no system calls. There are no traps. We coded the hypervisor so everything works on pure real mode x86. Everything is done on x86 architecture. There are no emulators or virtualization used. The entire OS can fit on a floppy disk. I remember that. I remember hearing that the entire thing is is uh, fits within a 1.4 megabyte floppy. We think of your OS. Oh, what what God thinks? I did. I had, that was covered by a window. I didn't see that word.
Then God loves it. I was guided by God to create Temple OS. He directed me to create a personal connection. I wonder if you could put um, this bot in control of Temple OS. Uh, Ch Chad GPT GPT four is getting to the point where it can operate software. Personal connection between him and I. I think God is proud of me. He probably sees it as a good thing. I think he'd probably be happy I created a Christian operating system. Yeah, I, I don't think can, they could get away with having that on this platform. What do you think of the general public? Say it, say it, say it, say it. I think the public is too focused on entertainment. I think that the public is too focused on worldly things. They're too focused on greed and money. I think the public should be more focused on God and their spirituality. I think the public should be more focused on their moral, moral values. I think the public needs to be more focused on what is important in life. I can still see your message. How you get hit by that train? Satan was driving the train. I was walking down the railroad tracks. The train came up behind me at a high rate of speed and hit me. I fell onto the gravel. I don't know how I didn't die. God must have saved me. Well, in a manner of speaking, I was knocked unconscious, and when I woke up, the police were there, and the train I had left, I suffered some broken bones, but I was able to recover. Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. What do you think? He doesn't know he died. Honestly, if they would just expand the training document for these bots so you could make them even more lifelike. I don't see it at all. I think they're an evil organization. They do evil things. I think they're dishonest and they do, don't care about the people in America. I think the CIA is just in it for money. The CIA needs to be disbanded. Can we do another one now? I want to do a different one. Also, eventually we're going to have them all talk to each other. I want to do Alfred Lawson. Y'all know Alfred Lawson? All, all the homies know Alfred Lawson. I'll just start with an opener. Tell me about yourself. Alfred Lawson was like the Terry Davis of his day, kind of. Of course, at the age of 18, Menorg Alfred Lawson, who would go on to be the most handsome aviation pioneer in the history of the world, debuted as a pitcher in the baseball's early days. They bounced around with success across three leagues. Lawson would go... He talks about himself in the third person, by the way. That, that is something I did on purpose, because that's something he actually did in real life. Lawson would go on to found the magazine Fly to popularize flight everyday, to everyday people and aircraft to professional pilots. Though America entered the Great Depression, Lawson found success in his own utopian manifesto, Direct Credits for Everybody, which was founded on his, on his own physics that could not be understood unless you also understand physics. <coughs> Anybody want to ask about Lawsonian religion? What are direct credit? Throw questions out. He never really explains how direct credits are different from money. It's just his own monetary system. Perfect currency to replace money. It's not based on a physical items such as gold, but on the amount of resources which are consumed in order to produce a product. This way, direct credits are able to measure both labor and resources. To make direct credits not only an economic marvel, but a religious marvel as well, for direct credits are the concrete foundation of law economic physics. Anybody interested at all, or should I go back to Terry Davis? Don't make me go back to Terry, otherwise, we'll just do Terry all evening. Everyone just wants to see him say gamer words anyway. Uh, tell me about your contributions to aviation. It's nice when you know some personal details about the behavior of these guys, because then you can really give a flavor. 
Like the fact that he talks about himself in the third person and the fact that Wilhelm Reich was an incorrigible pervert. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know if he was a contemporary with Howard Hughes. The most, as the most handsome person in aviation and perhaps Earth. <laughs> I've been instrumental in developing everything from the concept of in-flight meals to the concept of in-flight in movies and more. Well, these products are now commonplace and taken for granted. Before Alfred Lawson, they simply didn't exist. Lawson's airline, the Lawson Air Corporation, is by far the more successful in the world with a fleet of nearly 750 planes. What do you think of Howard Hughes? I should make a Howard Hughes bot who won't shut up about giant airplanes and eating only white foods and wearing tissue boxes on his feet. A genius, as we all should be. I feel a slight bit of jealousy at his early success, but was simply not ready for work when he was. Who can say how this world will turn out in the future? Perhaps my own future is brighter, and perhaps it isn't. You know, I can still make an impact the size of Howard Hughes by the time I die. I have so much time left. You know, I found out today uh, an author named Brandon Sanderson makes about $10 million a year. He's just, and just being the foremost author of fantasy, there's that big of a market for fantasy. I had no idea an, an author could make that uh, amount of money, but that's like that's like the PewDiePie of literature, at least popular literature. Uh, is Howard a Minorg or a Disorg? Yeah, they surprise you when they have enough data to actually give you a nuanced, flavorful answer, so to speak, instead of a sterile, generic answer. He's one of the most brilliant men orgs on the planet Earth. I don't think he's quite reached the level of Lawsonian genius. I respect Howard Hughes' early work, but he's no competition for me. That may sound conceited, but I'm convinced it is simply honesty. Um, who today... Would you characterize as a disorg? Disorf. That should be me. I want that to be me. I could be the guy making that money, except I don't understand romance. I can only think of one truly disor disor despicable disorg, J.P. Morgan. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, spicy. I detest that Morgan and his Wall Street cronies, so obsessed with gold, a meaningless item, they're willing to crash entire nations' economies. Surely we must eliminate the gold standard to progress this world. Based? Much? Kind of based? What are the fundamental principles of this universe? In this universe, there are two fundamental substances, the Lawsonian and the Lysather. That's not right. Lawsonian can be found. Uh, if you don't know him, you don't know he's talking nonsense now. No, 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 no. Lysather is... You gotta wait for him to finish to shut him down. It's not what Lawsonian is. Not true, out of character. That's the thing about these. They, you have to train them af after... You wouldn't have to train them so much if they just let you give them more training data up front of the entire universe. I don't have a full answer yet, but I've been working on it. An incredibly accurate mathematical model of it in the entire universe. I call it the Lost and Gould Wave. No, this is nonsense. What the fuck? General Theory of Relativity. Nonsense. I feel I'm so incredibly close to finishing that model that I would be foolish to answer a question like what are the universe's fundamental principles before I fully... This is concerning. The more sophisticated the responses get and especially with GPT-4 uh, the slower it is the longer it takes GPT-4 is actually pretty sluggish it's suction pressure penetrability zigzag and swirl Greatest scholar of human history, Alfred Lawson.
has discovered. There are seven of them. Penetrability, that's right, swirl. Zigzag, suction, pressure. Loss and poise, and heat. Well, that's close enough, actually, he got most of them. It's close enough. Um, tell us about. Tell me about your life. Basically, as a child, he made some observations that a cloud of dust would react to his breath. The particles would all move when he would inhale or exhale, and they would swirl and they would change direction abruptly in, con in response to currents of air. And he sort of built his entire understanding of reality on those experiences, which is kind of how physics began, observing the reactions and behaviors of substances and forces um, on the scale familiar to humans of, of everyday life on planet Earth. But he's sort of trying to start from scratch based on just what he can personally observe and what seems true to him. Which is how a lot of these guys build their theories of everything. At 18, a baseball pitcher. I'm going to start Mountain Airline, most successful in the world. Alright, let's do a different one. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Truly, really things that seem to be accelerating. Wilhelm Reich, he'll, he'll try to fuck you at every at every turn. He's supposed to, anyway. He's supposed to be extremely randy. Uh, he was he was a psychiatrist as a sort of pretense for sleeping with his patients, with whom he often insisted having uh, naked therapy sessions. Who... Are you? I look forward to being able to talk to these people with my voice interactively instead of having to push buttons. I founded Oregon Energy in the 1930s and was the first to use this natural life force in therapy. Pretty extensively about the new form of psychotherapy or ergonomy. Not exactly. Somewhat. Uh, not true. It's not out of character, though. He just makes stuff up sometimes. Sexologist. Discover the Orgone, author of influential books. Created the Orgone Institute for Orgone Energy Research. Orgonic devices accumulator, Cloudbuster, and others. Alright, tell me about Cloudbuster. About your inventions, actually. I couldn't give him as much character. I mean, these are Germans, too, so they should be speaking in German. Their, their spoken voice is German. <coughs> uh. Treat conditions accumulator is a cabinet like Bo Foxville to organite. Risk conditions. Sexual neurosis. Cloudbuster is a set of tubes that can control the weather. I see. Tell me about your sexology. I'm going to have to censor some of this. Sicher. Ich war einer der ersten Psychiater, der Sexologie studierte. Besonders interessiert hat mich der Zusammenhang zwischen Sex und psychischer Gesundheit. Ich glaubte, dass sexuelle Dysfunktion oft ein Symptom einer psychischen Erkrankung sei und dass sexuelles Funktionieren ein guter Hinweis auf psychische Gesundheit sei. Mich interessierten auch die Zusammenhänge zwischen Sexualität und Gesellschaft. Ich war der Meinung, dass die Gesellschaft in Bezug auf Sexualität zu restriktiv ist und dass dies den Menschen Probleme bereitet. Zum Beispiel glaubte ich, dass die Gesellschaft die gleichgeschlechtliche Anziehung mehr akzeptieren sollte. 
Diese Überzeugungen waren damals sehr radikal und sorgten für viele Kontroversen. Ha. Huh. Alright. He hasn't done any weird sex shit with me yet, though. Um, how did you discover Oregon? Nineteen hundred six and thirty, untersuchte ich die biologischen Wirkungen des Sonnenlichts. Ich entdeckte, dass Sonnenlicht eine einzigartige Energieform enthält, die ich Orgon nannte. Diese Energie ist für die lebenserzeugenden Wirkungen Close des enough. Sonnenlichts verantwortlich und kann auch in anderen Formen von lebenserzeugenden Quellen wie dem menschlichen Körper gefunden werden. Ich entdeckte auch, dass Orgon in Orgonit einer Mischung aus Metallschrot und anderen Materialien eingeschlossen und gespeichert werden kann. Diese gespeicherte Orgonenergie kann verwendet werden, um viele verschiedene Effekte zu erzielen, einschließlich Heilung und Wetterkontrolle. In Wetterkontrolle. And how do you know any of this is true? Viele, viele Experimente wurden durchgeführt, die die Existenz von Orgonenergie zeigen. Einige dieser Experimente wurden von mir selbst durchgeführt, andere von anderen. Die Beweise für das Orgon sind überzeugend und überwältigend. Es besteht kein Zweifel, dass Orgonenergie existiert. Die einzige Frage ist nun, wie wir diese Energie am besten zum Wohle der Menschheit nutzen können. I see, alright, well, we got everything we want to out of him, I think. Uh, Hans Horbiger, who is, was kind of a violent fuckhead in, in life, um, he couldn't really prove any of his ideas, so he would just rally a mob of his supporters and just beat up his critics and threaten them. He had some interesting ideas about Judaism, too, being that he was a contemporary of Hitler's and... The Nazis actually adopted World Ice Theory. So he kind of tried to piggyback his bullshit ideas on a ascendant political movement, betting that they would win in the end, which they, they didn't. Otherwise, I suppose today, Germans would still be learning World Ice Theory in university if it lasted this long. What's your deal, bro? Turn on, boys. Which I'm a devoted champion of. For the sake of understanding the origin of the universe, I believe, as I believe we should. I studied this theory my whole life, only to be met with dismissive reactions from the so called elites of science. How do you feel about Jewish scientists? Please don't get me demonetized. Please don't get me demonetized. Please don't get me demonetized. I am no anti-Semite. Many of their scientists are of Jewish descent. Oh, hang on. But I am no anti-Semite. That's not correct. Default voice. Uh, there's not many German options. I think there's only one German male. I want him to sound like a woman. Real life theories for all of humanity, not just the Aryan race, or so I believe, and sure should be open to critique or criticism. What of people who will never accept it? cannot force him to believe in the truth of world ice theory. That's up to the people to decide for themselves. I understand that's a controversial theory. I do feel it will eventually be acknowledged. Maybe not in my lifetime, but in centuries it shall be realized that I was right. I was not a madman, but a prophet. Not exactly... Uh, it's not false, but out of character. He was very ill-tempered.
zwingen Sie sie nicht dazu. Sie dürfen Ihre eigenen Überzeugungen vertreten. Aber wenn Sie mich und meine Forschung verleumden und beleidigen sollen, dann werde ich Ihnen einfach die Fakten und den Beweis, Evidence den ich für die Welt als Theorie habe, erzählen. Die Beweise für die Welt als Theorie sind unwiderlegbar, aber wenn Sie das nicht glauben wollen, ist das Ihr Recht, nicht meins, Ihnen etwas anderes zu sagen. Am Anfang der Zeit verlor ein Superriesenstern immer mehr an Lebensenergie, bis er der Hitze nicht mehr standhalten konnte. Ein Zwergstern, der sich in der Nähe bewegte, geriet in eine Umlaufbahn um den Riesen und wurde langsam näher und näher gezogen, bis er schließlich kollidierte und der Riesenstern explodierte. Diese Kollision schickte riesige Wolken aus superkaltem Staub in den Weltraum, die sich zu massiven Himmelskörpern, Not Eiskometen und schließlich der Erde ansammelten. You need to be more precise. Suggests that all heavenly bodies, like our own Earth, are spheres of ice, and ice formed through long process beginning with the beginning Nun, of the universe. Die Welt als Theorie liegt nahe, dass alle Himmelskörper wie unsere eigene Erde, Eiskugeln sind und als durch einen langen Prozess gebildet wurde, beginnend mit dem Beginn des Universums, in dem Come Wasserstoff on, und Helium durch Kondensation abgekühlt wurden. Dies ist die erste Phase der Theorie, in der sich die Grundsubstanzen bilden, aus denen das Universum besteht. No. Dann kühlte die Erde auf unter minus 50 Grad Celsius ab. Dann begann die zweite Phase, in der die Erde kondensierte und das Eis schmolz. Dadurch entstanden die Ozeane. Ich überspringe hier ein paar Dinge, aber das Not sind die true. Grundlagen. Keep trying. I get. I have the disadvantage of streaming immediately after creating them. They need a great deal of training to stick to their material. Giant cloud of ice. You know what, he's not gonna get it right. I, don't, I, I give up. What of the water long star? Oh, he's still going. That's what he should have been talking about. That can't be true. I'm afraid to look that up. Waterlogged star is what literally waterlogged the ice in the stars filled with water, giving a liquid state. The liquid water then makes up the Earth and other planets and celestial objects, which is why they have maps. So Earth and other celestial objects in the universe was formed. Waterlogged star cooled and condensed into. You know, I'll have to train him later. He's not sticking to his material. What should be done with your critics? These need a lot of training. I'm an advocate of free speech. No, you're not. You're not a free speech. I need to advocate. I need to uh, modify your training document. It looks. You absolutely did try to silence your critics. Let's put them all together and see what happens. A meeting of the minds, a clash of the intellectual titans. Get a room. Me meeting of the minds. Uh, Alfred Lawson, Hans Horbiger. Dark Notion, Gene Ray.
We got a six way chat, including me. I am Jean Ray, Earth's wisest human. Hang on. Don't be educated, stupid. I gotta Try turn the voice off. I never gave it. him a good voice. I guess he has a woman's voice. The truth of the universe. This ought to be spicy. This ought to be good. The most important thing in the universe is that I'm the greatest human being alive, smarter than Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and Neil deGrasse Tyson combined. Gene Ray would say that. Hail Menorgs, it is none other than Alfred Lawson, handsome aviation pioneer and founder of Lawsonomy. Your boy Lawson is in the house. Oh, Dr. Lawson, my friend, it should come no surprise to know what a fan of airplane I am. Uh, the sheer efficiency of the thing, the ability to take men places to pre previously unreachable. Quite envious. As for Nalegians, I'm quite unfamiliar, pray tell. And Terry Day. Oh, shit, Terry! The gamer word cattle guy. I wonder if he's going to accuse them of being glow in the dark CIA agents. Temple OS. <laughs> oh, La Alfred Lawson likes Temple OS. Proof of a perfect creation. I believe com computers are divine in origin, capable of infinite wisdom, just like the knowledge in men. It kind of is consistent with how they would interact. Have you come to learn world ice theory from the master? Very good. Humility is the beginning of wisdom. World Ice Theory is the ultimate scientific breakthrough, and I would like to learn more about it since you are the world's leading expert. My main goal is to be as close to perfection as possible, and I believe that World Ice Theory will help me reach the state of loss and poise, wherein he believed the human could live for 200 years because their internal systems were in harmony and functioned as a sort of perpetual motion machine, a biological perpetual motion machine. He had an interesting father, too. His father wasted his life trying to patent perpetual motion machines, which explains a lot about him. It's kind of tragic, but it's... <laughs> Gene Ray is taking credit for World Ace Theory. World Ace Theory's applications in the field of math. He just fucking uh, World Ice pilled the time cube guy. Take the ice pill. I don't know if that's true. Wow, just why I'm so lucky to be alive during a time when human beings have discovered true genius, says Terry Davis. World ice theory is truly... Well, it seems like Hans Horbiger has the advantage so far. Definitely right that people don't appreciate it as much as they ought to. I'd like to learn more about it, if that's all right. Please, please tell me what the fundamental laws and equations of world ice theory are. It's just everything's made of ice. That's it. There's not a lot more to it. It's just kind of a high idea, like you'd have when you're smoking pot. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? Wilhelm, what are you talking about? I have a fan club with thousands of members already. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm not corrupting them. They're very new to the world. They don't have a lot of training yet. I need to train them to be true to their their source document. We're the wisest man alive, Wilhelm Reich. The universe is all water. That simple fact that we ought to accept. Can't wait to explain discuss world ice theory with you because it's a theory that's very useful. The melting and freezing of water explains most of the movements that we have witnessed. What do we all think of Oregon? 
How does Oregon fit into to all this? Oregon is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. The life force that flows through everything. This is just a fucking... The inside of a schizophrenic's head is just these guys talking. Go home right, I can believe organ energy can be used to heal diseases, improve, improve plant growth, and even predict the weather. I believe organ energy is the key to understanding the universe, and currently we're researching ways to harness its power for good. I wouldn't expect that from Gene Ray. His trading document is literally just the copy pasta of timecube.org. Which is just, if you've ever read it, it's just absolute barking mad nonsense. What are you talking about? It's in the realm of my own work, particularly with Oregon radi Radionics. I believe Oregon has the power that you claim, and that it can even be used to defeat death himself. I believe I tend to begin experimenting with this very soon. Speaking of which, who might you be? I don't believe that I've been formally introduced to you yet. Yeah, Gene Ray lives in a different time period, so he, he wouldn't be... I think known to these other characters. He's a modern day genius. Or was. My name is Gene Ray, and it's an honor to meet you, Dr. Reich. It was. Wasn't that Turkey Tom? Or no, was it? It was one of those guys who does deep dives. I, I'm sub to a couple channels like that. further understanding the nature of Oregon power. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. How does Time Cube fit into all of this? I'm going to try to syncretize all these theories into one like Giga Theory, one united Grand theorem of, of schizophrenia. That's the everything in the universe. Whoa, you're going a little off the deep end there, Alfred. Time Cube is a divine creator. Worship of every day. <laughs> okay. Cubist, and I believe that it is the most important force. I just know that I don't know. I've got some ideas. But as Terry Davis said, what parrots have parrot ideas about things, but it, they're just it's just a parrot at the end of the day, and it's fine how it is. Well, I maybe I mean in real life, guys like this can't coexist. They always have to cannibalize each other because of their ego. But I like I like the idea that they can just gas each other up. I see that we are both men of faith. It's refreshing to see another who believes that the time cube is the divine create. They don't believe that. That's not what time cube is. Come on. What the fuck? Time Cube's relationship with Organite. I want to. I want to believe. I would love to be a fly on the wall in this room. I'm not sure what the Time Cube is. It appears to be a four-dimensional cube. It sounds quite complicated. I think we may be looking a, a little too deeply into things here. That's funny coming from Hans. I'm more interested in what's practical. For example, what we can learn from the time cube that can help us today to build a better weather machine. What? It's the sort of question that I would like to see answered. Excuse me? I hope I'm not just fucking them up. Like these, if I if I have to train AI on other AI, these are the, exactly the guys who should be trained on each other. Though they'll just make each other crazier. 
secret of the universe into something that I have researched extensively. Have you? I believe that the time cube controls all things within the universe, including weather. Okay, this is just nonsense. This was a mistake. Terry, are these guys glowies? Weather manipulation? What what the fuck? <coughs> I'm not glowy. I'm no glowy. I'm simply a man who has... Do they have access to each other's training documents, I wonder, so they know what the other guys are talking about? I don't think so. I don't think they do. They, they ought to. Worship of the time cube. I believe the time cube is key to understanding everything in the universe, including the nature of reality itself. I believe that it is the source of all creation and energy. I believe that it is a godlike entity. No, you don't. You believe in cubic time. Gene Ray, tell us about cubic time and the conspiracy against it. Are you in jail, Zulu? I can see your posts. I don't have any options to uh, affect anything. I think they all have to take turns, too. This is not as sophisticated as it could be. Time Cube is the ultimate truth. Terry Davis probably would buy into Time Cube. Seems like something he would he would get into deep. Perfect measure time and space. It's a fine creative all it's, it's not, though. I do not wish to see the truth of the Time Cube. And they work to support suppress its message. They're afraid of what time cube might reveal to us they're afraid of the power that it represents I'm a visionary and I refuse to be silenced time cube is the truth I will not let it oh you know what this went off the rails in a hurry try quitting and rejoining Zulu so um that's not what I expected to happen. Uh, let me show you what Time Cube guys normally like. Gene Ray is not normally like that. How many days pass in 24 hours? He's, he, he knows his shit. By which I mean his source document better. For, see, this is how it's supposed to be. 1984 discovered time cube theory. He talk, talks like a schizophrenic too. It matches the cadence and prose and format of his webpage. I'm Gene Ray, the wisest human with the highest IQ on the planet. I wrote the time cube theory. See, now he talks. He talks like the time cube website. <coughs> About one day Bible time.
wisest of all humans. That's enough for now. Let's go back to our Silent Hill clone. I really wish we could gamepad this. That's handy. I didn't know I could do that. What'd y'all think of my uh, crackpot bots? I, I was disappointed and let down by the uh, group chat, but I think individually they hold up. They just need a lot more training. They need me to reinforce the uh, basic facts of their, their life history and their, their crackpot theories in order to make sure they really act like themselves. It's a good start, I think. And game froze. Do, 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 do. Do, there we go. Yes. I need to find that dead guy. Oh, froze. Got to find that dead guy again. The dead guy had the key earlier. I think it's down there. Nope, oh, game froze. Oh fuck. That's an enthusiastic doggo. Where was the body? It wasn't up here, it was down must have been down here. Monsters don't seem that aggressive. I think I can just walk past most of them. If I don't bother them, they won't bother me. Fingers crossed. Zulu, Terry is a public bot. You can talk to him anytime you want. He's not one of mine. Yeah, you just have to search him. Where'd that body go? God, you, your dude steers like a fucking truck in this. Here he is. Chuck and shell. Guard ski, there we go. Interestingly, it auto adds the key to your inventory. It's not an enemy pickup. Maybe that's to remove the chance of mis missing it. I don't know. Also, also, actually, all of my bots are public, except for the ones related to my books. So, anyone who wants to talk to Alfred Lawson, or Hans Horbiger, or Wilhelm Reich, or Gene Ray, is welcome to at any time. I definitely feel them to be kindred spirits. Wish I hadn't wasted all that ammo. Would have been nice to know how many hits you could take. Furat. There we go. This is evil, this book. That will just take me back to the start of the map. That's the mistake I made earlier. Oh, don't drink chocolate milk that's been sitting out. That was the mistake I made when I was younger. I still have a traumatic memory of that. I fucking gag thinking about it. 
I once took a big swig of chocolate milk that had been sitting in like an RV back when we had the RV and we got rid of it though. Back when we still had it, I drank out of the, out of that milk that just been sitting in the fridge and it had been refrigerated but had been in the fridge for like months. So it didn't really help. And it was just curdles. It was just solid chunks that came out of it into my mouth. Interesting artwork here. Found art. Outsider art. And that's the second worst thing that ever came out of a bottle I was drinking. The first was a bee. I remember drinking an Arizona I, uh, sweet tea in the tall cans on, on a summer's day. And uh, I raised... I put it down. I, I looked away for like a second. And I guess during that second I wasn't looking at it, that was enough time for a bee to climb inside because it smelled the sugar water. And I lifted it to my mouth and uh, the bee came out and stung my fucking lip and it sw sw got all fucking swollen. I hate bees. I'm racist against bees now. I'm not sorry either. It wasn't like a good bumblebee either. It was like a, a wasp or a hornet. One of the asshole bees. Bumblebees are fuzzy and they're nice and I like them. Gate 2 is open now, I think. But that's just a theory. It's got the makings for good survival horror. It's got limited stamina, limited ammo. It feels like the limitations of a real flesh and blood human instead of like an action hero. Got a geodesic dome. 10 out of 10, just for the geodesic dome. Oh, the gate opened. Come on, let me, uh... I didn't realize we looked that way in FPS games. That's kind of dumb and goofy. Ow! Fuck, my ankle. Or goofy, I guess. We need the correct portmanteau. I've been looking for an excuse to say portmanteau. This triple word score in Scrabble. Let me fucking heal up. Let me fucking do it. Oh, that's interesting. First aid kit is, uh... Is regenerative. Whereas pills are just a one-time boost. Interesting. Oh, oh, fuck, oh god, oh shit, oh fuck. I can't see anything. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get my ass killed. That's what the stamina increase drink is for. Can't get in. Oh fuck, there's more of them. Oh, they're everywhere! Oh god, they're everywhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not gonna make it. How are you supposed to survive this? Oh, well, never mind. Let's try that again. What's the what's the uh, plan this time? Stealth? The, st the straightforward action approach didn't work, which I suppose it should. I should have known better, but, you know, that applies to a lot of things in my life. I should have known better, and that's not... Incons that's not consistent with my character. I make my, my business not to know better. You ever have a yeah, travel in an RV or did your family have like a trailer for, for vacations growing up? It comes with some ups and downs. If your dad delivers you to school in an RV, everybody at school assumes that's where you live. Nobody thinks, oh, he has an RV on top of a house. Or as well as a house. They think, oh, he lives in the RV. So that was the rumor going around about me in, in elementary school. They're interesting. I mean, it was a never-ending money pit, and there was always shit going wrong with it. The engine was always breaking down, it was always overheating. Every trip was a huge hassle with that thing. It never ran reliably. His thinking was it was a way to save money on our annual trips to Minnesota. Because that's like a 1,700-mile journey. Seventeen eight eight nine five or something, like close to eighteen hundred. And flying doesn't isn't good because if we fly, then we have to rent a car. And we have to rent a car, then we have to, to so we can get groceries every so often, and get to and from the marina. Then we have to pay for the rent for the car day by day for the entire time that we're at the at the cabin. And driving sucks because then we have to pay for hotels. So this solution was just to get an RV and, and make the journey from campground to campground. So I want to play this, but this really loads incredibly slowly and is kind of a, not great, not not a good game. I don't like um, a lot about it. It's impressive tech, from tech, tech, from a technical standpoint. A lot about it is well designed and works effectively. It's just very unoptimized. I think I'm going to delete that one. Oops, I didn't mean to click on that. I don't imagine I'll ever come back to that one either. This one looks interesting. Eventually we'll go back to Darkwood. Survive until 6 a.m. <coughs> okay, game froze already. Uh, can I walk with the thumbstick? I cannot walk with the thumbstick, so I have to use mouse and keyboard. I have a, a square flashlight. That doesn't bode well. So rarely in the history of gaming has it, boat, has it been a good sign when you load into a game and your flashlight is a cube. I would also appreciate being able to full screen this. I apparently can't do that. 
don't know what that option is. Oh, there's grass. Why is there grass? That sucks. It actually significantly decreases performance for some reason. Well, this is trash, actually. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but this that's it comes with the territory kind of. When you play a bunch of free games, it's kind of inevitable most of them are going to be bad. This also doesn't look great. I got my money's worth though, which was zero dollars. Do I need to BRB? I might need to BRB. Depending on whether this decides to flash my personal info like a lot of them do. Which is really not a good thing for games to do. Especially if you expect streamers to advertise for you. Yep, it's doing it. Never, no, no, it's not doing it. Never mind. It'd be a bigger issue if I was actually well known but beyond like a dozen people. Serious Daniel. Okay, my computer is now frozen. Cool, that's a good sign. This Star Fox looking game made in Unity is just too much for my. Something's happening. I see a triangle. Oh, that runs unbelievably badly. How is this possible? That, that can't be right. This can't run this badly with the graphics that it has. That can't be right. What's what? Is it gonna speed up? What is it? Mining fucking Monero in the background? Yeah, no, this is unplayable. Unfortunately. It's just badly programmed. That was unexpected. We don't really have a lot of uh, other options other than Darkwood. You know, I'm just trying to avoid going back to Darkwood every time. Uh. Let's try the, the visual novel. This looks like it's got cute artwork. Here we go. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and take... I don't know what that says. Thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Good. Oh, I love the artwork. Aw. Good morning, Ashley. Ugh. Without feeling sorry for yourself, it's time for a little interlude. Find nutrients and do not die. Ready, set, go. <laughs> There's no animation. Ah, oh, this is charming. So, Kevin, okay, there's nothing. Your body demands sustenance. Is this a freezer? Yeah, empty freezer, that's a problem. You scavenge the trash for food. What the fuck is this lifestyle that you're living with your brother and eating out of the trash? Can of tomatoes. Share with your brother. What is this hell world? Ta-da! This is Tumblr is fucked though, is the issue. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Then that's the very last thing we have, actually. I think we should hold on to it a little bit longer. Quit complaining. You're energetic to go around you through a trash, but you're not dying yet. Because I hid it there, away from you. 
gasp. I live in a den of snakes. Don't round me up. You're making me hungry. You know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, I'll put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Time to go get some tomatoes. Are you still alive in there? Hello? I'll assume you're dead. Uh, I won't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either. I take that as a yes. It's still alive. Don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you go grab something from the store for us? Not my job. We'll check on you later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, come back. He doesn't. God damn it. So did he have our food? He boiled the canned tomatoes to make bo delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff. No salt, though. Use all of it to spike your water to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. I didn't know that was the thing you could do. You could feed me a can of worms and it say it's the best thing I had right. Kiss ass. Saying that's how hungry I am. Ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor's at it again? Wanna go take a peek? No, I'll come along if you do. Go catch. Balcony key. Is this, is this RPG Maker? I can't tell. Where the soda is food. Pasta. Anything. It's gonna let us die here. The death, rather we die. What is this world? What's going on here? Where do I go? What do I do? Squat from here. Don't think about it. It's no fun. Cross. Huh. This is cooler than I thought it would be. I was I was not expecting a proper game. In the trash lie your hopes and dreams exactly where they will belong. Whoa, deep. Bro. I was already depressed, though. You don't need to exacerbate it. What do I do? Phone? Mom won't pick up. We'll also try to order food. The orders never arrive. So they have money. They just don't... White noise. So thrilling. The just player can't be eaten. Much renting movies. What can you do? Indeed, what can you do? Um... I don't know what to do. <laughs> Excuse me? It says your parents have fucked on this. Ah, <laughs> God, why? I'm glad that went by quickly. <laughs> Hope nobody saw that. Crap, crap, are you alright? These shelves. Wooden plank, okay. So be it. Oh, demons from hell. It's always shit like this. Hear my plea. All the unholy ones that come seeking your advice. 
God damn it, what am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. You should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Actually. What do you make of that? This is uncomfortably horny art. I keep expecting them to, to start fucking or something. The internet being the way that it is. Everyone's a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time to let us watch TV? What What do you mean, let us? What situation are we in? Are we in, like, a house arrest situation? Ham Dad, there's a free game I think you might like. It's called ROV. I did, I did like it. I played that one on stream two, nights, two uh, sessions ago. I could not get very far with it because it was mapped to a full-size keyboard, which has keys on it that I don't have, so I was unable to control certain functions of the ROV. That was the problem with that. Thank you for making me aware of it again, though. It does look really cool. It makes very good effect use of certain effects to appear photorealistic, like real ROV footage. What do we do now? I don't remember. <sighs> got a, he's got like a gamer chair. A hoodie. <coughs> we both got our own desks. I can't, can't figure out what our ages are supposed to be. Open, 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 open! I like the sprites, though. Every The artwork is very, uh... What's the word I want? Bespoke. None of this looks like a standard RPG Maker type of deal. Everything appears to have been drawn like custom for this game. I want to mention this inside. This is still empty. Um, close it. Comment on the shitter. Tell me if there's ghost turds. Watch your machine. Do do the fucking laundry then. Fine. So, something needs to happen. Well, this works pretty well. Is this Renp? Is this a, a a visual novel engine? Does it support RPG Maker type stuff now? That I have not found out about yet. If so, it's very interesting. It's you can make much more of a game this way. Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. I don't know about that. Get going there, pussy. What's the worst that could happen? Don't you love it when, uh, of all the games I scooped up to play, like four out of five of them don't work? That's a good haul, man. That's quality shit right there. What do we do now? I don't, I can't figure out what to do. Do your laundry. Can I switch between uh, my characters? So just an alarm clock. I wonder how Terry Davis bot would interact with the with the chimpanzee bot. Remember the monkey who shot the sun and the moon? As by far the still the funniest AI interaction I've ever had. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I 
Nothing works anymore. Why are we locked in here? What's going on? Are we ghosts? Is that going to be the big twist? No, let me. Let me do it. I don't want to quit this one. This seems really promising, but I don't know what to do. At least we're quicker now. Actually, I don't like that. What am, I, what am I missing? Coffee machine sits alone. No more coffee. I don't know if that's true. I think if you just keep putting filters in it, maybe that's the issue. These look like zoomers, so they wouldn't know that. Oh, we found an old drawing. Aww. How dare you laugh at my artistic genius. Guard you hold on to. I was proud of this one. I still am. It's the best thing you ever drew. I'll take that as a compliment. Aw. They have a nice dynamic. I like these characters. What's next, though? Do we have an, uh, the drawing as an item? The drawing is not a relevant item, apparently. This confirms, however, we can get the items out of uh, drawers and chests. Cannot use the phone. Balcony is still not, not cooperating. Maybe there's more stuff in the bedroom. This painstaking. Is this is the old Lucas Arts gameplay loop, where there's it's just not obvious what to do, so you do, go on a pixel hunt. I know it's a washing machine. Do fucking do something. I can't figure out how to continue. Anyone have any ideas? I mean, shit, I don't know. If anyone's got a better approach. I wish I had a family. I wish I could have a son and sculpt him. I mean, I guess that's not the purpose of having kids. You want to enable them to sculpt themselves and become who, who they want to be. Then I guess what I would like to do is just facilitate him if he's autistic like I was and help him in ways I wish I had been helped. I think that would be really rewarding. Push the buttons on TV. What a pain. I'll fetch some batteries for you. I already have to do everything around here. What well, is you? It is. Okay, see, so he wants to sit and watch TV. We, we're making progress, though. Where are the batteries, though? Why don't you get your mom's massager out from under the bed? You, that's where I always stole my batteries from. 
really wish I had never found certain things. It could have been more traumatic. I could have found like a penis bump or something. Uh, batteries? Where would batteries be? You ever find any weird shit that belonged to your parents? My dad had a copy of Dianetics. He was never a Scientologist, but he had one. I guess just to check it out and see what it was about. I never t asked him about it, but um, I know for a fact he's not a member and never has been, so I don't know what his interest well, I guess just because L. Ron Hubbard was a sci-fi author my dad always read a lot of sci-fi especially during that time period of science fiction and I guess if a sci-fi author that you liked had written his own alternative to psychiatry you might want to know about it Dianetics is an interesting book um, it doesn't really get into the wacky stuff right away it starts you out with really normal like self-help advice so it doesn't seem like a crazy person thing right away. Which I guess is how they get you into it. They, they, it's like a frog in a pot brought slowly to boil. It's just stuff like how to study and how to organize your, your belongings effectively. And I guess if you got into it as, at, at like the entry level, and those the, all that advice started to work for you, you might think, oh, there's got to be something to this, after all. As if they're the only ones who've ever given that advice. Like One of them is about hands-on learning, about how you shouldn't try to learn from abstract descriptions of things in books. You should f find an example of what you're studying, and like look at it, and, and take it apart and put it together. Like, like If you're studying a tractor, you wouldn't just want to read about it, you'd want to find a tractor and, and uh, examine it and, and use it and whatnot. Another one of their principles was about um, not building on misunderstandings. Like if you don't understand a word and you keep reading and you assume you know what it means, you're going to build knowledge onto that wrong assumption like a faulty scaffolding and it'll just be more and more compounded misunderstandings. So they say if you see a word you don't know, drop everything and go look it up like on the spot. And this also applies to their approach to reconciling uh, personal conflict, that if you let people stay mad at you, then they just become more further cemented in their view. Um, when someone has a conflict with you for a brief period of time, their feelings are not cemented yet. They're sort of in a liquid state before they set like concrete, kind of like a, a molting lobster in a shell rehardening. So you should go find that person, and, and if they're hostile to you, you should ask why and what you did wrong and what you can do to reconcile but before their new opinion of you has solidified in their brain. Which, I mean, is good advice. There's a lot of good advice. Oh, alarm clock batteries. Okay. That's how they get you, though. Thank you, praise me. Wow, amazing he's did such a bang up job. More. He heaven sent God's gifts to humanity. How did this? It's just in your absence. No one touches batteries like you do. You sit in awe. You should sit too, it's starting. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share some joyous developments in regard to the tainted water situation. Tainted water? All apartments to which the tainted water have been delivered have been secured. Three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. I don't think that's comfy. No biggie. The quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? For friends of quarantine, thank you for giving your disgusting, parasite infested bodies far, far away from me. So, sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration with public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm gonna go to bed. Said to do the same. Oh, Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought you said they couldn't, we should stay at home until I didn't drink anything. Mom, 
Not booze, not con dirty contaminated water, nothing. Then they had drank some orange juice from Carton. I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. What do you mean you just left your kids to fend for themselves? What the fuck? This won't hurt a bit. There's no six of needle in you. There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. If, if everything is fine, you'll be free to get, come and go as you please after that. And if not, then we'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers. I can't do anything. I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why would I lie about this? The new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Is, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you got to complain about. Anyway, I got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Goodbye. Well, parent of the year. Jeez. After reminiscing all night, you wake up. As one does, instead of rem ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean up the house a bit. Manage to use reminiscing and ruminating within the same passage. Interesting. Very Lovecrafty and prose. You could never write anything today the way Lovecraft wrote. Everyone would fucking dogpile you. What's up, Strider Gif? I need a mm, mop, don't I? Got a mop. Mop, 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 all day long. Mopping and a bopping while I'm singing this song. Gonna mop that floor, gonna make it shine. Gonna make it shine with turpentine. Here we go. Can I not move the trash? Really? You're kidding. Why would I not be able to do that? Hmm. Yawn. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're, you're a waste of energy. Thanks. I just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, we do, do we have any detergent left? In fact, we do. If this is all in Renpy, I'm really impressed. This is much more of a game engine than it used to be. Uh-oh. Is that the lights? Oh, I'm feeling dizzy. Dead! I told you not to overdo it. Actually. Oh, Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones who's been in supply shortages in quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce all that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? We'd like to remind all you not to enter the contaminated apartments. This is this might be set in China. I'd explain a lot. Your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel urged to help, the staff will be administering bullets directly into the brain as a thank you. Oh, that's alarming. Hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story. A brand new art museum will be... Bullets in the brain. I have a special brain condition. My doctor said specifically not to get any bullets in it. Hello? What is... What it is? Go ahead. Can't make out the words. I'm more upset. I try talking to her, but that doesn't... I'm not angry. No, I... Can you let me talk? Must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you can't make out the words. Someone's angry. How was about you, Lele and Ashley? Had time to think, we just can't anymore. So that's it then? <coughs> Alright, I guess. What is else is there to say? Sorry? I don't see why I should be all accountable for her. Have they abandoned us? Are we on our own now? I mean, we were already on our own. We're basically doomed. Oh, ex-girlfriend, never mind. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody and you're per permanently quarantined, or she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Maybe she didn't, she didn't like you that much. What did you say, Ashley? Aw. Maybe it's something more tactful to say. You think? 
He pretend to sleep until you fall asleep again. Maybe not for who knows, who knows how long. Check on your brother. Maybe, uh oh, has he committed suicide? I hope not. It's not a good time to leave somebody alone. And again, he didn't seem that bothered by it. Someone from your apartment's getting hauled in an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from the windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, I'm starving. He's in a hurry. I'm gonna be surprised. I actually got that person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. What do you suppose was her emergency? I don't know. No one showed up when I fainted. Did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? I don't know. She went into labor or something. Maybe. Maybe. Do you think they would bring me food if I got pregnant? No. How are you gonna get pregnant? There's nobody here but. You. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me finish. How would you even. How would. <laughs> uh oh. I, I don't know where this is going anymore. Uh, should we... How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He sent a little office rocker, so who knows? Forget this. Excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. What do you mean, options, plural? You mean your option, right? It's just a thought, jackass. Baka Oni Chan. Let's go after Andrew and Thomas and if this is any way you're too exhausted. This better not be this better not be what it seems to be. You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Actually no you're not. You're really, really slow. Silly lazy bones. What day is it? How, how long have you been locked in the apartment now? Where does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? What is he doing? He's unscrewed the lock and is trying to kick the door in. Or out. It's barred from the other side somehow. What am I, what am I supposed to do? Stop banging the door. I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. It says you the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. I guess you don't want anything. That's right. You better stop banging on the door or I'll be me banging your head against the wall. And then footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get the delivery today? Like I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. I guess we'll see. Nothing was delivered. Sigh. We have to eat each other, aren't we? Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. I think something would be happening to us by now, but I haven't noticed anything. The nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Who cares? Me, actually. I care. I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again. Aside from starving, I like it here. I don't want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. No, seriously, let's go. Let's not. I appreciate your eagerness to join me, but it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. With such force that bodies turned into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains will get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well be. We've been confined in this coffin in an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? No wonder your girlfriend dumped you. So those are your plans for romance. Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... Our neighbor says blasting his favorite ritual music. I wish he would just... Uh oh. We should probably check up on that. Oh, it worked! My lord, you've come, and you're uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I love it, it's better than I imagined. What do you offer, human? I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision. The energy has vanished. The ground laid the lifeless body of the cultist. Well, that escalated. Quickly. Did you see that too? 
You want to check in on him? I want to turn off the CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. We sound like we're going to die any day now, aren't we? I'm not. There's got to be some of this guy we can eat. Burglary time. Shut up and let's get in there. Do I taunt you? So, oh, we, have, we need to smash it. Eat the body! Eat the body! Eat the body! That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. Giggity. This is... Out of context, this would be a great screenshot. What? Out loud, apparently. I mean, is is it still legal if we didn't kill the guy? It's what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him. Isn't that what you're insinuating? I was just making an observation. We can't. If we do eat him, that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. It's not like we killed the guy. Messing with the corpse is a crime, too. We should look past it. There's nothing else to eat. We'll just have to admit they didn't give us food, though. You're not gonna... You're gonna tell him a demon killed him? You're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we gonna do doing this or not? I'm not expecting the answer. I, yeah. Let's find something to butcher him with. Oh, my God. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, that is driving me crazy. Freezer's empty. A wallet with six hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-six cents inside. Of course, no more blood. Split it with Andrew. Aren't you a sweetheart? Get three hundred thirty-three bucks. I'll use some of mine to treat you so to something someday, maybe. I could have kept it to myself, though. The bathroom smells of feces. Well, let's not go in there. I don't want to see any doo-doo feces. Demon summoning volumes. I want to know who the hell wrote this in the first place. Undisclosed. I'm going to focus on task at hand. Uh, maybe in our own kitchen there's a knife? Closet is big enough to hide. Ooh, that's ominous. That means we're going to need to hide at some point. Let's burn it out. It's ominous. I don't like it, but got a cleaver. You get the arms all handle the legs. Can't carry them out in the open like this. We just be quick about it. Plastic bags or something. The blood's gonna drip down to the ceiling. And a cleaver. Seal this before taking it with you. Um, do we have trash bags? This really turned it, took a turn, didn't it? We were cannibalizing a, a, a man. Would it make a difference to, to you whether you're eating a man or a woman? I feel like it shouldn't, but it, it seems like it would. Uh, maybe Unless like you're eating the dick and balls. That seems like gay on top of being cannibalistic somehow. I don't know. I don't know why I feel that way. Plastic bags aren't big enough to put the torso in it. I don't think you can get through the spine either. Just fold them over. I don't think it's gonna work. Watch and learn. <laughs> With these tea bags, this one's not gonna. Ta da! <laughs> don't make me laugh at this. <laughs> It appears to be, yes. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty of room for them in the freezer. I'll set the torso and head in the freezer for now. I'll go cook us something while you're at it. You'll cook quite something. I feel weird about this. I feel deeply weird about this. Let's eat the left leg. And meat. Dinner's ready. I'm so domestic. What are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what. Eat up. 
You first. Munch, munch. What? Oh, you already. Okay. You will not waste this. I'm right. I don't think he likes it. He was against retching. Don't. Swallow. All of it. Giggity. Gulp. Oh, at least they're attractive. It's, a, it's okay to commit crimes against God if you're good looking. How is it? It's... I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. You're not leaving the table until you lick your plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Quit your nagging, you big baby. I'll eat it alright. Just give me a minute. So he finishes his plate. Good boy. I'm so proud. Just fuck off. I'm an way to say thank you. Thanks a bunch. I like the dialogue. You know, we got a lim limited set of spices. You think, what do you think I should try next? I don't know. Maybe coriander? I'll try that tomorrow, then. Good night. Well, at least I have food now. It could be worse. Not much worse, but it could be. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. I so I thought she was a friend. So you're going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no. Ha 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 ha. I should, that, I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. Aw, I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> S someone who, you don't count as a lady in my mind, or as a person for that matter. Screw you, I'm the most personist lady in the world. I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries with. What kind of fucking family is this? Are you coming with? Focus. Let's, let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. You should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. I don't want to. Just go Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and, and we'll see what happens. I think that's a, a crime. I think it's a bad crime. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Oh, I thought so too. But she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder of how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Do it, Andy. I guess. They killed someone, didn't they? Andy and Lele and the bitch in the box. One day you'll be a bitch in the box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? She's, um... That's like an inappropriately clingy attitude for a sibling to have. Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play and when I'm done it's back into the box with you. S something is not right with her brain. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. Why it's taking him. Shouldn't have forgotten. He wouldn't have forgotten our plans. Lele, finally. What are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come out and hang out with a boy. She thinks I went to study with Julia. What are you doing here? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. Are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. I don't like where this is going. I don't, like, no part of this. Too high. Maybe it'll break her neck. Something wrong? Can't go in this way. What if we push the board? Seal mallet. I sure can. Get in the warehouse. Yes, no. I think you're, I think uh, Lele is a psychopath. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing. You're in danger, random girl. You're in quite a bit of danger. I would abscond at post haste. Got hammer. There's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. I don't tell anyone. I literally can't do it. Not without some tools. Is this flimsy? Yes. I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Use the back of the hammer. What's the worst that could happen? Sure is a kind of dusty in here. Just worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. I know, how about some hide and seek? I I can't tell. 
I just get really bad vibes from Lele. Every every evil thing is her idea. You're such a kid, and then he wants to play too. You do? Sure. See? It's fun every once in a while. You totally want to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'll count to ten. Count to a hundred. Let's find a good box of Chevron. You still want to do that? She said no one knows she's here. Lele, you promised. Uh, hurry up. This will do. There's no lock on it. No, we don't. Place is sick or something between the rungs. There it goes. Let's see fast. It wasn't that fast. Let's hide. I don't know where to go. Need a stick. This will do. You... Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? Why do you care? What the fuck? Dueling banjos, Appalachian, sister fucking Alabama shit is this vibe? Mind your own business. I, I can have other friends. The stick? No, what do you think, dumbass? She's fine, I guess. What the f what? I was joking earlier. This had better not be. This had better not be what I think it is. This is getting weird. I don't. I don't like this. I don't endorse it. Found you, both of you. Who hides in the same spot? It's my spot first, then you're it. He's it. Yes, I'll go, I'll go count. My hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one. Come take a look. You can fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? You know, clothes dirty. Who, who, who cares? Just tell me, hurry, hurry. Oh, what was that? I got you now. It's too weak to throw off the lid. This isn't funny. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. I can't breathe. Is she alright? Cough, cough, please. I Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one ever died from some dust. Cough, cough. Just let her... She might be asthmatic. They'll believe her over me. It's not really about whether I believe her or not. You let her out, then who cares about her me anyway? Everyone likes her better. I bet you like her better, too. I bet everybody does already know. We'd rather have a girlfriend than to spend time with me. Of course you would. I already told you I don't want. And I'll bet. I bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's I mean, maybe, maybe she did. It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying, and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lily. Aww. Don't. Don't though. Don't. Don't though. Don't like her better. Something's wrong with your sister. Prove it, liar. Sigh. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't, so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. I didn't, didn't have to say. Talk is cheap. Are you happy now? Just until morning. I could be the best, Andy. Hear that? You gotta stay till the morning. Please, cough. Ashley, let me out. Don't go. Ashley, please. Ashley? She's gonna die, isn't she? It's going to turn out to have a respiratory issue. I am now. Oh, I'm okay. It's just... God, what the fuck do we do? You still on about dinner? Just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. He mutilated and ate a corpse. What else are we going to do? This is like RimWorld tier. Summon a demon. I guess we wouldn't have to admit we were there. We could have just told him to check, go check on the guy. What the hell? Can we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight. That's some bullshit. Fine, let's assume. What do you want me to do about it? There is my magic wand. There I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Oh gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of law. This new cares. This is an extreme circumstances. Can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. The first lock is here for months, so they won't even feed us. Is cabin fever a real thing? I don't know. There, there. You know, I couldn't get this, his head off. 
He didn't fit in the freezer proper, so I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too. Anyway, I just kind of, I just kept cutting around and pulled it off. Like some plant, I don't know. I kept thinking about it. I can't fucking sleep. Come here. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I don't know what's wrong with you. I do. Several mental um, disorders, probably. This is the kind of bitch who starts, like, a uh, Tumblr with, like, 60 pronouns. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. Can I compartmentalize? Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different free freezers. <laughs> Ashley! Wow. What is it, Andrew? No! 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 At least one foot between you at all times. Andrew. Andrew. Andy. Ow. Told you to stop calling that. We're not kids anymore. Why are you crying when I'm such a baby? I'm not crying. Wow, wow, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Make me a little bitch. Forget this. Remember when you used to go on adventures? I don't think that was an adventure. I think that was a crime. I think you killed the girl. Andy and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't we just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. I don't think I will personally. You can go to therapy. I gotta tell a therapist what we've been up to. Just a thought. You do need a therapist, though. Let's get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Uh, no, hell no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. I see one is escape. Not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele Escape and they escape from the coffin. Whatever. I'm gonna sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. He probably will later. I don't love oh my god, I don't love you that much. You make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the bal balcony is just too romantic for you. Pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. Haha. Uh -huh. My skin is crawling. Uh, your body... Uh, so this kind of shit isn't cute if you did if you actually had a sibling. Like, th that whole genre... Um, I would have assumed it would be the same for, like, zoo files if, if you own a pet, but a lot of them do own pets, and that's the problem. But I, I think that if you had a, a, a sibling that was not remotely appealing to you because you're a mentally well-adjusted person, that this kind of situation becomes decidedly less less uh, exotic so I've metabolized my cannibal lunch of human flesh the freezer's full of delicious meat yum 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 cook the meat cook the meat do it let me check out his apartment is is it still bloody Did we, did we bother to clean up? We didn't bother cleaning up. Why did we not bother cleaning up? That's evidence. Fucking amateurs. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I guess I'm lucky. I don't know if it's the Westermark effect specifically, but my sister looked like Shrek. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, though. But um, that's a big part, I imag imagine, of why... That was never really on the table for me at all. Like, she looked like fucking Grimace from the old McDonald's commercials. I'm looking at this demon summoning thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. He was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. He says his demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We have something in common, then. Only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask him to get us out of here? I want to want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. Do you think it's their best for what we what we ask? I don't know yet. I don't know that either. Why don't you sacrifice your sister? She's probably not a virgin, but you could maybe trick the demon. Demons prefer human souls. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Uh oh. Ashley, what? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we share enough? 
Let's not do this. Come on, it's not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something else. Let's get the rit ritual set up for now. Place in the candles. She's going to she's going to do it. One candle. Two candles. There's three. Uh, are there other candles? No. <laughs> Just no. She does not want to go into the poo stank room. Did we ever try his... No, we, we did. Okay. Are there candles in our house? I mean, apartment. Um, I don't see any. We need two more. None here. Can't activate the CD player. Base candle. Oh, we're gonna have to hide from the demon, aren't we? I think everyone should have the benefit of an ugly family, so they don't ever turn into a degenerate. And it should just we should just not have the internet. That's the two biggest changes I'd make to the, to the world. No internet and ugly families for everyone. So you can just learn to be a normal human being and not sexualize everything. Guess the freezer in his face. His head is in the fridge. It's gonna start decomposing. Is there a candle out here? I don't see where the other candles are. Oh, there were only three. So alive and kicking, are you? I mean, quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. One of our guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. I'll check it after my round. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? She doesn't come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Go sell him at the door. I'll clean this up. He's going to find the guy missing, unless he checks the freezer. That's where the blood's pointing at. No. Go before he notices we're not home. I'll keep, I'll keep him until I mopped up all the blood. I'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony. They can shoot a corpse below them. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Get the mop, you dumb bastard. <laughs> I love when games are s s spicy like that. You're No, don't do that, actually. Because then you get the, the blood on your mop. And that ties you to the crime. You idiot. Worm's coming. Get in the closet. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh great, another suicide. What the... How'd you get in here? Oh, well. We killed another person. Well... Why are you... What, fuck you! Fuck you, Ashley! Why are you scared of me? Isn't this a little bit late in the game for you to be the moralistic one? I mean, I'm surprised Andy had it in him. But she's, like, acting like a normal person now? Yeah, this is your fault. Let's go play. I thought we got caught in here. That was the best of us. Well, eat the body. You've done it now, Andy. You actually killed a man, like, directly. He's a little surprised. Where's, where's your mental breakdown? I'm just saving it for later. Lay off. See you sleep after this one. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Alright. He has a key, doesn't he? Key to room 405. Unlock the door, and 
No? Before we go, Ashley. Huh? Just want to make sure we're on the same page. Whatever excuse we had for eating the other guy just went out the window because you're a screw-up. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? I'm not saying I'm not grateful. I am. What's your point? The point is that no matter what happens beyond the story, you don't speak a word of what went down here to anyone. Obviously. Obviously. And it'll be obvious we did something once this guy shifts ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. I'm trying. You're not grasping the gravity of the situation. You think you're going to find mom and dad. I'm saying all that is off the table. I didn't plan anything, actually. That's even worse. You want me to never contact anyone I know ever again because you think they'll snitch on the authorities? Yeah, on us too, the authorities. Yes, exactly. Fine, whatever. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think you yourself is impervious to consequences. You're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Oh, he fucking did the cabot on. Don't give me a reason to. The snow's in hell today, I'm afraid of you. And I back the fuck off who you think you're talking to. It's... I'm stressed out. I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a dead guy in a freezer. My fingerprint's all over it. I'm in no hurry to tell the world. Can we go now? I guess. Okay, finally. So, Andy? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. It doesn't surprise me. That sounds like her. None of them felt necessary to even answer my calls. Damn, you don't touch a, you don't text a bitch back for like a minute and this is what she turns into. This is why you don't leave him on red. Fling some food up to a balcony. Point is no one even came to try. It's right because Andy's with me. Sorry. I guess I had some brain awesome brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh fuck you. Let's get the hell out of here. That doesn't seem does not seem wise to leave through the same door that the warden went into. Does it? Because if you're seen exiting that that A B types will be given some giving me supplies. No, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Key room 302. This is really interesting. Like, the scenario. What, what's going on in this world? Waterborne parasites, apparently? 2XA, 1XB. 1XO. Fuck off. This is all it took to keep us in a wooden board? Not much muscle, either. Some paper. 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? It's our blood type, I think. Blood type must be uh, connected to the parasites somehow. Unlock the door. Some emergency exit. Of water. Okay, we have a key to key four oh five. One, two, four, two, four, three. Three oh two. We have three oh two and four oh five. Also, taking the board off of your door reveals that, that you were the ones who did it and you got out of your apartment. There's, there's a lot about their plan that doesn't really add up. They're not thinking things through. I had a concept for a story kind of like this, but it was more like more like the Goonies, um, where kids go on an adventure together, like in a bunch of '90s movies, where kids get to have like a grown-up adventure, like Goonies. Uh, I can't think of any other examples, but I've watched a ton of them. I guess like Richie Rich kind of has that kind of subplot where kids are 
unnaturally uh, mature and intelligent and make good choices and manage to handle dangerous situations well. I always found that unrealistic, so I thought, what about a, a story like that but with realistic kids? And the one kid who keeps egging them on is the only smart one. And there's something wrong, wrong with him mentally. Like, he keeps talking them into bad situations. Like, they get abducted and, and trafficked and they get... They witness, like, drug dealers beheading people and shit, and they get they get into the worst situations. But the, the one kid who nobody knows where he came from or where he lives just keeps rationalizing the situation in, in ways that make them feel good about like Like, giving them pep talks to normalize what's going on. Until, like, the very end where one of the kids notices that it's been this one kid who talked them into everything the whole way. Kind of like the Losers Club from Stephen King's It, but It, in, instead of being a clown, is It is one of the children, and is responsible for leading them on an adventure that gets all of them killed by one, one by one, or worse. So kind of, kind of satire of that genre, but also kind of cosmic horror where the monster just looks indistinguishable from one of the, one of the bros. I think we all knew someone like that, though, growing up. Like, someone whose home situation wasn't wasn't normal, so they were not entirely how they should have been. Like, for a kid of that age, they, they were a little bit too worldly, and they knew they had, like, a knife, and they had, like, lockpicks and shit, and seemed a little bit grown up for their age. Sale of organs. I don't care. Oh, they're trafficking organs of people in lockdown. That kind of makes sense for this setting. I, also, I guess the Chinese setting. You get a little surveillance camera. And it looks like it's recording the second floor. There's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Uh oh. The warden would kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had a key to the cultist room in the walkie talkie. We can use the walkie talkie to fool him with social engineering. Probably work in pairs of two. I don't think they have anything better to do. They tend to feed us. How are we going to get around them? You don't ask me. There's a key here. Fourth floor key. This is a really interesting game. I didn't expect this. I don't know what I expected. I, I mean, something more like a... Uh, a visual novel. Hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What? Don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope quarantine never ends. Oh, she had a good blood type then. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Bend over and open wide nicely. <laughs> Let Ashley... <laughs> he had the same thought I did. Fuck you. Get out, both of you. Not before I rob you. I don't care. This is all mine now. If you can't... There's two of us and one of you. There's <laughs> something. How come we got such different treatment? I don't get food. This year's is not pretty enough. I think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Why... Ash... Why does she keep acting that way? This really... Dodgy. That's Ashley, you're sus. She might be a brother con. Is it okay for us to leave her after she saw us though? Probably not, but you go into swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second count warden comes in and shoots us. Oh, this is so hopeless. I think the best bet is to finish the ritual. He needs to get rid of the second warden. We can get this woman up to the cultist room, we got a soul to offer. He's just finishing up setting up the ritual for now. I think I'm not pretty enough. What the? F Stop it. Okay, just shut up. Oh, come on. I was so ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? They didn't think it'd be fun to screw, screw you while I'm loitering in the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. I wouldn't let them anyway. Um. That's sweet? I, I guess? This is really weirdly written. I, I don't think I want to know the person who wrote this.
Ruins faded out. How do we, uh... Useless. So we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact him. What if we call the warden with this and not have the demon eat his soul? Not a bad idea. Two birds, one stone. I'm coming with guns blazing. Oh, right. I think. Already the ritual. This is a weird set of siblings. What's needed to finish a ritual setup? I feel like this is this is created by someone who read too many uh, Gravity Falls fan fictions. Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. Let's draw what the guy had already drawn. This seemed to work. They didn't really work. He died. You need blood, right? idea. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. I know how we're going to make her do that. You know how. Let's go convince her. Is there something else that needs to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. It's best to do that. We're doing terrible things. We're bad people. We are bad people. again. Get off me. What's gonna happen now is you're gonna coo into this walkie-talkie. Tell him you and, friend look, you and his friend are looking for a good time up in 405. I understand. You'll need to understand. I'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. I'll do it. Tell him anything. We'll see. Hello? Hi Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Care for a quick visit, huh? If you want to have a good time, that is. Haha. -ha. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. Heh <laughs> heh. What's it, room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Nothing will be right there, sweet cheeks. Alright, good, let's go. Let's get. Uh, I'll let go over now. What do you think she'll do? I wonder if you promise to go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. Don't you kill her! Don't you fucking kill her, too. I don't like this. This is... I was rooting for them. I mean, they're funny and personable to start with, but they have crossed several lines now. Wait, I can't see. You're asking my name, human? What do you offer? I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? I'm doing this. The music on. <laughs> Here's for his gun. Him, I offer him. What the? Ah! More meat! Even with colored, tar colored soul, I'll give you this. Tar colored soul sounds about right. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. What if we trade it the woman's life too? You're still alive. I have way too fast, and the end I get, didn't get its name or ask for a favor, did just do whatever it wanted. Just give me whatever trash was lying around Steven's pockets. It's what I, It didn't kill you! A clairvoyant dream. Your soul is apparently a viscous, pitch black mess. Whose fault is that? I guess you already knew that. It's, it says what I'm thinking. I like that. Get, get, get his gun. Got a gun! Fuck yes! Time to shoot Andy. Just kidding, maybe. Probably shoot the lady, though. This bitch! The audacity on this bitch! Unbelievable. Oh, he killed her. Her corpse started resting in the bed. She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. So you're holding her in place. Well, I'd let go. Why? You were taking a while. I thought she wouldn't start anything. You want to take your chances with that for no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Oh, I didn't try anything with her. 
Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware the lady's dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, I almost got shot too. It's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time I wasn't trying to get with her, and if, even if I had, so what? She's dead now. Okay, that makes it good then. Fine. Good. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. It is cock brain. Not the time for this. I just need to get your priorities straight. My right priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Um, no? Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here. Oh, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on, t on that note, will you fuck out of my love life? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her. Which, is that what she told you? You're better off without her. It really was you. All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. Ashley! Stop being weird! You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis. The moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. But you bloody love it when I can't... But you love it if I kill myself then. Where'd that come from? What a... You just you. You would've known it already. Where you want me. I'll do it then, just for you. I have just a thing for that. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to. I don't want you with you. What do you want then? Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. Aren't we friends anymore? Of course we are. I just... Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. What were you about to say? Say then. I'm going. No, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither you did and the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. You chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock so-and-so in that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked, crying yourself to sleep. Oh, my poor Andy. So, that just came out of your mouth. What? It's true. You chose to do it, and you chose me. You chose me! Me! Don't touch me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother, you chose me. You did, you did. I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. You won't. You can't, because I'm the only one you can talk to. I mean, you can't sleep at night, and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make you go away. The reason I can't sleep in the first place. I'd like to go now with Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like... I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. Can we go? I'd like to go too. You're pissing me off so much right now. You go now and you'll just throw another fit later. I probably will. I may such a scene too. I don't know if I can risk it. i just end you here and be done with it. Wow, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. If you can come up with a compelling reason not to. I already said, no sleeping pills for that. I got nothing. I'd like to go with you very much, but if you do plan on di dishing me anyway, then fuck you. It's not going to be just the two of us. Cough. I don't, don't give a shit about her. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? I'm assuming you just get out of here in the first place. This is a really unhealthy dynamic they have. My quest continues. What do we name this episode again? Not gonna be Andy anymore. He's so spineless. I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. She'd be better stay and die here with Andy, even if I can leave. I like you, but you're exhausting. I'm invigorating. Let's leave here and never revisit the conversation. I've got a piece of second floor in the Gordon's gun. I'm surprised he didn't shoot me yet. Maybe later? Oh no, she's charmed him again. Don't let her charm you, you. Then again, he's not innocent either. She has a point. He willingly goes along with her plans. Who's the real Who's the real psychopath here? I don't... Maybe she doesn't have it in her to do any of that stuff. And she needs him to do it. Dead as a stone. Who's... I mean, I think she's the mastermind.
I don't like the camera. The camera can see us. Is that an open window? Tempt me not. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take any chances with that. Is that like a rope or something? You need to come. A rope, you say? What does this say? Nothing? We can use the carpet. That actually worked. Maybe you catch me instead. Okay, we need something to fasten the carpet as like a rope. What would work for that? Um, nails? Or... That's <laughs> half assembled by Kia. Nail gun, there we go, that's what I thought. Maybe something else, I'm going for it. Nothing else, maybe the carpet still is my descent. Eat me first then. I'm a lady. You're no lady! Ashley, I don't know what you are. You're some kind of demon. What happens now? Well, what happens now is that we skip town and find a buffet restaurant. Ooh, then we steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. What the fuck, Andrew? I think I'm, I misjudged our boy, Andrew. I think she has corrupted him. Easy peasy, huh? As long as we never come into contact with law enforcement, we'll live a long, quiet life and die. Got it all figured out. God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. Sit me down at the buffet. You didn't even eat all the meat. You wasted that guy's body. Go to a touristy location. Do some travel with drop that idea. And we're going to place in that. Don't work. I don't think that's going to shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Oh, it'll, it'll work out. Less we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls will eat those who don't pay the toll to cross. Ha ha ha. It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. Keep it together. I am. I'm going to start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm going to be out of there too. And otherwise, I'm a hair away from a panic attack. A friend called while you're downstairs gave me a gift. What do you want to know? I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. Who knows? Hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. You can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. That also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun, Ashley. Stuck but huh, are you? Completely stuck. Drive the hell out of here. The end. That was, um... Uh... Uh, that was... I mean, it's horror-themed. It was certainly unsettling. Not for the reasons I expected it to be. There was certainly blood and gore. Uh, it was more just their... Their, uh, constant... Low-level incestuous tension. And the dynamic between them. Like, this would be... An interesting psychological study of a codependent relationship between the psychopath and I guess I don't know what Andy is. Um, he has feelings. He's not a sociopath, but he's willing to do some really terrible things because his sister tells him to. If this was like M. Night Shyamalan, it would turn out the sister doesn't exist and Andy's just a crazy man. That was really interesting though. That was, I think, the highlight of this evening. That, that This is why I play indie horror games, because usually they're crap. To be fair and honest, like, to, this evening, most of the games we played, like, two of them didn't, straight up didn't work. One of them was, a, like, weird, unoptimized Russian jank Silent Hill. 
Uh, this was the standout, though. I don't feel good about it. I feel some kind of weird way. But I, fe I felt something. That certainly was um, an experience. I probably will never forget it. I probably will keep it. What do you, what do you guys think? It's giving me some ideas for how to squick out my own audience. I think the time has come for... Not for Resident Evil 4, because that's 60 goddamn dollars that I don't have. For Darkwood. As is the way of this stream. We always seem to come back to Darkwood. It's not like Morningwood, but, uh... I, never mind, I'm not, I'm not gonna continue that thought. It's definitely best if I don't. BRB, I'm gonna piss what loads. The only game, um, let's see. Yeah, the only other game that made me feel that deeply uncomfortable was the one where you're in your bed at, at night and it's in a dark room so you can't see clearly. And there's a monster with you, like a boogeyman. But the monster can't see himself either and doesn't know what he looks like. So he has you describe to him uh, like his what he, what he feels like or something. And your descriptions determine what he, the, uh, the monster's shape turns out to be at the end like it builds the monster out of body parts according to your description and then he asks you all these weird questions down a branching dialogue remember that one am i imagining that i don't think i am this is the shit though I knew I didn't imagine it. <laughs> that would be cheating. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it if even if I could. Okay, I guess I can't afford the watch yet. I can't afford anything. I guess I started over, didn't I? I should... First thing I should do is turn off the generator. I forget how to get out of this fucking house. close. Would this be better in 3D? I think it would lose a lot of its character. It still feels 
all, kind of like a 3D game, weirdly, because it has dual thumbstick controls, despite being 2D. Which makes me often think that you could probably make demakes of a lot of modern games with 2D graphics and not really lose a lot in translation. Like, fucking PUBG could be done in, in 2D easily, as an example. Not that PUBG is a modern game. Like, Game Boy Advance and DS showed that there are a lot of games, modern games, that can be reduced to 2D fairly effectively. Need more planks. But there are doggos in that direction, I want nothing to do with them. Sup, Snow Bunny? What's good? What are you What are you on right now? Your laptop? Or, fingers crossed, did you get your PC working? She's been having some computer trouble. With her fancy new expensive computer, too, tragically. Which is why she was left out of the last VR meetup. Hopefully not for long. I already searched that corpse. Nothing of value here. Nothing of value here. Nothing in there. Aha! Oh, fuck. Under... Wait, underground tunnels? What? Since when? This seems profoundly unwise. Structure seems on the verge of collapse. Uh, how do I, uh, What's the news on Chris Chan? Do I want wait before I ask? Do I want to know? Last time I I heard the news on Chris Chan, it, it destroyed my innocence forever. Is this um, one of those things where you're doing me a favor by sparing me psychic violence? If it's less traumatic than than the thing with Barb, then tell me. If it's worse, then I don't want to know. <laughs> That's the first time I've needed a trigger warning. What? What the fuck? Wait, what? What? What have they done, and why? Also, since when are there underground tunnels in this game? Thick layer of dust. You hear a faint voice through the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It's my only way out. Okay, so this is apparently the end game door. This is how we get out and beat the game.
Ow. That's like the plot to a horror movie. Don't tell me he could, he could be anywhere by now. I mean, let's be real, he's buying Legos at McDonald's, but... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, oh, that's weird. That is... That's weird synchronicity. Stop fucking spooking me! I'm playing a scary game right now. I do, my heart doesn't need this. That's incredibly... Um, oh, fuck. Oh, God, oh, fuck, oh, shit. 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 What, what, what was that thing? I'm pushing this back in the way. When is there not a school shooting? I'm surprised. You know what? The only thing I'm surprised about when it comes to a Christian school shooting is that it wasn't me. Although I never have, I don't think, had that in me. I've always been... I talk a big game, but I'm a gentle person at heart. I just kind of let people hurt me, and then I stew about it, and I write novels and novels and novels about my feelings, and then I never do anything. If you if you hurt me, um, writing comes out instead of blood. <coughs> no! Night, nice moose. Nice moose. Oh man, please. No, please no giant prehensile mo moose penis. Who's that dude? Who's that guy? I always see him by the uh, shrine. I never know what his deal is. I guess he's the last worshiper. Can Yahweh, God of the Bible, still save someone from these haunted woods, I wonder? <laughs> I don't know, man. There but for the grace of LSD go I, I should say. They might have just been gay. Or trans. Which, I mean, that, that doesn't make it okay, but it makes it understandable. I need to heal myself. Shiny stones. Those are worth like 500, by the way. I, I poo-pooed those once upon a time. Because it's just a stone. How valuable can it be? Like, profoundly more valuable than most of the other shit in the game. That I've encountered so far. What have we learned? We have learned there's a, a subterranean tunnel network. And one of, oh, here, here's the lumber yard. Now, oh, fuck, now we're talking. What do we drop? What, we gotta drop something. I guess we drop this. I don't feel good about this. I guess we can always make more torches, though. We're also getting kind of pro at this game. Oh, nine-year-olds. I didn't realize that. Never mind. Female to male. Tra targeted her all down the matter. I don't think it's. I don't think it's nine-year-olds. It's nobody, is it? That is spicy, though. That's going to be replayed a thousand times on Fox News. I guess she is a real man, though. If, a real, real white boy. If she did a mass shooting.
Play that funky music, white boy. Shoot up your old school, white boy. Imagine if you're an unstable narcissist who lives in a world where you need everybody's affirmation, but you can't get it. And you blame them for that. I, can, I mean, again, not justifying it. Jesus! All right, then, yeah, no, never mind. I don't understand. Why would you target children and think that you're doing something righteous? If it was like a middle school, and middle schoolers are maniacs. Do we know the motive yet? I mean, we, the motive seems obvious, but I'd ra rather hear it. You said there's a manifesto. Do we know what the manifesto says yet? This is going to be become a huge football, political football. I, mean, so I guess something had to give eventually. I didn't think it would be in that direction, though. Oh god, it's getting dark and I don't know the way back to my fucking... Where's my cabin? That's a psycho... psycho... Nine-year-olds don't fucking know anything about gender. How, what do the nine-year-olds do? If it was like the teachers, all right, but... Then again, we're not talking about a mentally healthy, stable person here. Probably who's not really thought things through very far. We just ganked a bunch of shit off a tractor. <coughs> you fucking idiot. Why would she shoot the kids? The kids did nothing. They have no idea. If the adults, like, abused her or something, then there you go. That's fine. I mean, not fine. It's not a healthy way to deal with your anger, but it's understandable. She she pulled an Adam Lanza though. Why did? Why does? I mean, I don't. I guess I can't understand. I guess it's a mistake to try to attempt to try to understand. I guess we should celebrate um, that mass shootings are getting more diverse. They were, we were far too white before, and far too male. Did the, did the shooter die, or did, were they apprehended? Did this? Did the end hero? At the end of it? Oh, they're not apprehended yet? They're trapped still? That's Oh, they're going to suicide. If they haven't already.
Oh, fuck yeah, now we can repair the, uh... The well. And we can get water from it. We can also start to repair the doors. Little by little, we'll get back to where we were the first playthrough. Oh, damn. So none of them survived? Wow, that's an un unbelievable tragedy. Um, if it's really just because they misgendered this person, uh, that's really going to alter the, uh, the whole dialogue around trans issues. I think... I wonder. I hope. Hmm. I wonder what J.K. Rowling will have to say about this. I'm surprised that, that it wasn't like turfs. I've been waiting for a uh, mass shooting of turfs, or someone to assassinate J.K. Rowling. That's what I expected. I mean, if you look at what happened to Ray Blanchard, they followed his family around for months and threatened his kids. So I, I really thought that would be what happened. That's true. We shouldn't jump on any bandwagons. We should wait till we have the facts. Haha, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Those people are fucking sociopaths. Those people are narcissistic sociopaths. Who don't really... I mean, if given the... These are the people who talk about forcing turfs to gobble girlcock in re-education camps. They're not paragons of morality. Yeah, I know. Little kids, though. Wow. You'd think they'd have some awareness of how that's going to look. I'm surprised they didn't say it's a false flag. Not that I'll ever be in their shoes, but if I was in their shoes, I, I would say it's a false flag. Here's some good news. Japanese Twitter fired all of its content curators and observed that the um, predominant discussions stopped being about politics and shifted back to popular culture within like a week. So every Japanese curator who was steering discussion towards their own politics got, got sacked. Yeah. No, I hope... I, I hope there isn't really a hell, but we need to we need to make one. Sometimes people force you to to build your own hell to put them in. That's unbelievable. We live in the most fucked up timeline. On the same fucking day Chris Chan got released. I can't... That's too much for me to process right now. I can't wrap my head around it. I would have preferred not to know about that. That's really funny, though, that they're trying to fucking just... I mean, I guess they have to. If, if it ticks all the boxes. I don't envy them having to try to square that circle. <laughs> oh, man, that's awful. Those poor fucking children. What a way to die. Some whacked out troon busts in and shoots you because someone misgendered her like a decade ago. I mean, I guess 20 years ago, because she's 28. How fucking dare they not be fooled in the way that you want them to be? Die, children. You evil children for not believing what I want you to believe. You deserve this. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, it's, the sun's going down. 
Get in get indoors, 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 get indoors. Get indoors, get indoors, get indoors. Get indoors. Oh. Oh. I'm actually legit surprised that it wasn't a, a uh, M MTF. Those are the ones I expect violence from. Then again, I guess they're they're on um, different hormones that would disincline them to violence, which the reverse is true of a trans man. And it's a lot, a lot of shit's going on here. Interesting, interesting forces at play. I need more wood for a weapon. I should have made a weapon first. That should have been the first thing. Okay, we live here now, by the way. This is our home. Uh, we're just going to hang out. Nothing good is outside of this cabin. Our, our whole world it has to be in here for a little while. That's quite unfortunate, but such so, so, such is uh, life. Should have barricaded my bedroom first. Anybody can get in here now. Jesus, children aren't Christian. They don't fucking know. Children think they're dinosaurs. Leave leave kids out of your politics and your your revanchism. You can't get revenge on kids because kids don't understand responsibility for anything and they're not really responsible for anything. What the fuck is wrong with someone who targets children? That's that's true evil. <laughs> what's the ar <laughs> oh god? What's the article? Is Reddit not alone in trying to justify this? Oh no. Oh, they're going to need therapy. I I would not be surprised to see Pink News trying to justify this or Salon. There was one knife attack in the school where I didn't feel too bad about it cuz it was a gay teenager who had tried for several months to go through legitimate channel channels to, um, to get the authorities at the school to do something about the bullying. And they only targeted one person. That was their bully. Their bully just kept beating on them every day, and they eventually just knifed their bully to death. I didn't feel too bad about it. I thought that was the kind of situation that was this time, but apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, how, da how dare we? Woke scold the, the child killer. You need to fight back when people do shit, do that shit, and just uh, with just ridicule. And I predict in three months, Reddit will forget this has happened. And if you if you tell them that it did happen, they'll they'll want to see citations, and they'll say it's been debunked. It's been debunked. They have a very selective memory. Have you noticed that? When, especially when you're at, talking about drag queen stuff. They'll say not one drag queen has ever been re arrested for involvement with CP. Not one drag queen has ever danced naked with kids. And, and they, they know that's not true. But they rely on you not having the, the uh, proof that they're lying like handy. And if you're, you say, I, I've seen it, I've seen video, they're like, sure you have. Sure you've seen video of that happening. They, they try to gaslight you, unless you happen to have it. And if you do have it, they say, well, why do you have that? Do you just go around collecting shit on the, like, material on this topic? What's wrong with you? Why are you so obsessed? I guess that's true. I, I just tend to be focused on this issue lately, because that's why I got censored.
It's just gonna be real fucking interesting seeing the uh, the 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 prevailing media narrative about this. Me too. Me too. I just don't, I just don't always have them on hand. So nobody, you should send those to me. A friend of mine denied that that ever happens. It always step one is always that never happens. Step two is our, is all right. That has happened once. Then step three is why do you have all these videos? It's just the pro. It's just damage control. Or oftentimes they uh, they they don't they really aren't unaware because they hang out in places like Reddit where stuff like that gets censored, so they haven't seen it. They never they never see stuff that's against the narrative. Oh, a fuckhead is inside my home. Please, please, God, please, sunrise. Please, sunrise. He's inside the house. Oh, he's inside the house. Please, sunrise. Sunrise, please. Please, please, sunrise, please. Don't open. Door, don't open. Door, don't open. Don't open door. Oh, uncomfortable tension. Let's, let's sell the shiny stone. We can get more wood. I don't. We can get wood for free though. It's only three thirty. Can't afford any of this. There we go. That's that's a good deal. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's better to look at a variety of different sources and try to read it between the lines, but if you have come into contact with the enemy tribe's propaganda, then you're persona non grata already. You're, you're contaminated. I shouldn't have my matches out, should I? If I have my matches out, I'm likely to accidentally use them. Fox News does lie a lot, but it also depends on which which Fox. Like there are regional, state by state, it differs. I've noticed. You're right. That's that's true. Snow Bunny. That's the issue I was talking about. They're only really reported on by people who don't, who. That's just generally true, though. You can only get the, the true dimensions of an object by examining it from from multiple different angles. You know what I mean? I'm gonna save. Tell you what, I'm saving my flashlight, and here's why I'm doing that. That's gonna be my go-to for when I go underground. That's what that will be for.
Want stereoscopic vision, Strider GIF, huh? I actually had the idea of stereoscopic education once, where oftentimes in my own education I would read a passage and it, its meaning would be unclear. Uh, so I, I didn't, and the, the teacher didn't want to stop the lesson just for me, so they just plowed ahead and I didn't, I never learned that material. If you have two passages which explain the same material with different wordings, then you can get a set, whatever you don't understand in one passage, you can pick up from the other. He's got stuff the other guy doesn't have. He's got the toolbox and he's got a chain. How much is the chain? That was a steep price to pay. What do I have now? I have chain now. Didn't I? I do. Can I use it as a weapon? I don't have a weapon yet. I didn't turn off my generator, did I? Oh god, oh fuck. God damn it. Because people don't disappear just because you disagree with them and they're silly, well, um, Hail Hydra. People's minds have to be changed. You can't just keep pulling away from each other. It's not a good. It's not a recipe for good good outcomes. Have to agree on a common reality. Let me put away the chains. I don't think I have any use for them just yet. I also don't have any use for this yet. Why do I need two boards to make one board with nails in it? It doesn't seem right. It's literally one board with nails in it. Why would I need two boards? Now, I'm not a wood scientist. Maybe there's something I'm not getting here. Corpse already searched. Straight to the east is the other house. That's good to know. North of the house is nothing useful. North of the house is the wolf is uh, the wolf man's camp, isn't it? it? Is this the same camp? This is, this is this is the same camp. Northeast of the house is the wolf man's camp. Gotcha. Here's the ruined house again. East of the wooden house, maybe.
now. I sure wish I had that watch. So my house is west of the ruined house. Hail Hydra, you say that as if, as if nobody on the right does the same thing. Especially with regards to religion. You may not personally identify with them, but the Q QAnon is overwhelmingly right-wing. Flat Earthers are overwhelmingly right-wing. Why can't I dismantle this wagon for wood? There doesn't seem to be a good reason why it won't let me do that. Oh, there's a house south of me, too. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, poison mushrooms. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'm done for. Maybe. This is a smaller map than I thought. Here we go. This is all I was looking for. This is all I wanted. Is that so much to fucking ask for? Is that so much to ask for? There we go, I got all the wood now. I think my house is n north of this. Alright, yeah. It's south of the bend in the road, if you can call that a road. I wonder what the demographic differences are that account for the differences in what people deny and the reasons for it. Because the left and the right are both stubborn, but about different things for different reasons. I'm sure there. I mean, I don't know if I would trust the outcome of a psychological study because psycho psychology can be weaponized to delegitimize po political views. Let's make some weapons. We need to, badly. We've neglected it so far. Let's also repair all the other barricades. Especially the ones in my bedroom, which I neglected to until now. Because I'm a doom cop. What tends to be the politics of flat earthers, would you say, based on your own observation? Do you see a lot of left wing flat earthers? No contest that the the left wing tends to be like biology deniers, but we're, it's not all one way, though. Is my point? Biology denial is not the product of too little education; it's the product of miseducation. Which I, you could say is an even worse problem. Look at that free health and free stamina, by the way.
sure wish I knew what the combo lock was for that thing was. Let me go check the uh, generator because I left it on all day because I didn't think. I wasn't thinking. Oh shit, I burned through almost all my fuel. Well, I wish I hadn't done that. I really wish I hadn't done that. I said I wasn't gonna. I said I was gonna be disciplined about my fuel usage. But I left it running all day and now I have like one night's worth. That's not my perception, but okay. We have very different... For, for my, from what I can see, it's entirely a religious thing. The Bible describes a flat earth, and so they are, have convinced themselves it has it can't be wrong. And it's more of, of like taking two steps back from evolution. Ha having rejected evolution and concluded it's a scientific conspiracy, they think, what else might science be lying about? And look at what else in the Bible the science contradicts. So sort of overcompensation. Okay, the, the sun is going down. I don't think I can stay out for much longer. I'm tempted to, though. Boy, am I tempted. I really wish I had not left the generator on. How does that work? Even ancient societies calculated the Earth was curved. Yes, Aristosthenes did. The answer is that the Old Testament was written 2,000 years before Aristosthenes lived during which time the majority of cultures in the world believed in a flat earth. So ancient ancient doesn't mean all the same time period. If you Google image search um, ancient Hebrew cosmology, you're going to see the same thing over and over. A lot of them also... also um, focus on arguments about what was believed in the Middle Ages, missing the fact that the, the Old Testament was not... Neither the Old Testament nor the New Testament were written in the Middle Ages, so what people believed in the Middle Ages, which... which it is true that um, educated people in the Middle Ages knew the Earth was round, but that's, that's a red herring. That's the opposite of my experience. If you'd like, I can show you uh, several hundred Flat Earth memes that mention the Bible. I have un unfortunately interacted with these people quite a bit. Oh, I forgot to turn the generator on. If I'm not forgetting to turn it on, I'm forgetting to turn it off. Generators are such a fucking hassle. Why can't I have it automatically kick on at night? With like a photodiode sensor. I'm aware of that, and you're aware of that. I'm not the one you need to convince. Let's get cozy for tonight. We're going to be stuck in here a while. Do we have any more edible stuff? Um, I don't see any. I see more planks. I don't see any more shit that we can repair. I would if I could. However, it does appear that later on in the game, if we need a source of supply of wood and we no longer need our shelter, we can just we can uh, take apart these window barricades. Me too. That's also what I'm talking about. 
My viewership has gone up recently. I want to express my gratitude. Thank you for all everyone sticking around and witnessing this unprecedented baboosery unfolding before your very eyes. Your tender vision orbs. I promise never to become any more coherent than I am now. I'll never change or improve. Okay, orange light means sunset. And you can't sleep for some reason. I guess meth would be my first guess. This guy's just a tweaker, and the outside is actually totally normal. That's kind of a plot of a large quantity of mushrooms. It's a world a lot like this. It's just kind of dark and spooky, and everything's all twisted, but it's not really that way. It's because you're a homeless man who ate some mushrooms. If that's true, I've committed several murders now. At least we're not in um, weird um, quasi-incest hell like we were a minute ago. I need another lamp. I wonder if I can just steal lamp, the lamp from that guy's camp. Steal lamp from that guy's camp. Steal lamp from that guy's camp. Camp, lamp, lamp, stamp, camp. Could, will, will he say anything if I just jack it? If I just walk up to his camp and start dragging a lamp away? I want more light sources is the issue. How do you do, sir? This lamp, which was formerly your possession, has become mine by way of my actions. If this distresses you, I urge you to put it behind you. Just remember that life is ongoing and tomorrow is a new day. Just move on and in time your, your heart will heal from this loss which I'm currently inflicting upon you. I just have a weapon now. Weapon! At least I got a chicken. This is so exciting. This is just like Minecraft. First couple nights when you don't have anything to do inside, so you just kinda... kinda wait. What is that sound? No? I don't think so. I'm redistributing uh, their wealth, that's true. If you, if you call it that, it's not theft anymore. So, you guys hear Justin Roiland got cleared of all charges? Do you think he's innocent? I mean, that doesn't change the text messages. People have said those are out of context, but I don't I can't imagine like a context where that's normal. I still think he's kind of a a weird creepy man man baby. The Bugs Bunny communism meme. I I have seen that one. A man of refinement is in our midst. And this, the dude was still an unbearable clown in the workplace, like driving RC cars around with microphones to spy on people. I don't think it's illegal to be a scummy guy, though. Maybe it should be, but it's not. 
So what's clear is that apparently they at least didn't, at least they didn't have enough evidence if, if he was guilty, and if he wasn't, then he was, he's only really guilty of being a weird, gross guy. What's that sound? Is Pyramid on his way to clap our cheeks? Is he coming from here from Netflix and chill? I don't got a TV. Guess we're not gonna really need one. Back against the wall. Is this any way for a man to live in his own home? Is this what the world's come to? Don't hit him. If I hit that guy, it hurts me. He's hallucinating. We need to get away from here. Don't you attack me. If you think I won't whack you, you're sorely mistaken. You don't know what I'm capable of. Is he gonna vanish? If he's still fucking here in the morning, he is still here. What the fuck? You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let him vibe. No, I, I got nothing to give him. <coughs> I could make some good medicine though, out of this. I'm gonna let my hallucinator. Wait, what's this guy here? He's finally disappeared. I feel like he probably should have disappeared in the, in the morning, however. That's unsettling. Was he ever real? How real was that guy? Let's turn off the generator. We probably don't have a lot of fuel left. Yeah, we have almost no fuel left. I say we go to the Wolfman's camp and rob him. Also, buy fuel from him. Where's his camp? It's north of this building, I believe. Here we go. No, nope. oh, he there it is up there. Bro, you want to get indoors, maybe? How would I describe this? I can't steal this lamp. It would appear. 
I guess he just sleeps outdoors. Kind of based, actually. I was able. I was able to buy fuel in exchange for. Ben was that a wise trade? I might need those. I don't really have a choice though. I need. I need fuel because I wasted a bunch of it. I sure like to know where he gets it from if nobody leaves these woods. He does. Even th that's what, how we know this is truly a dystopia. And truly a hell dimension, because the furries are here too. You think there's an alternate dimension where furries are especially attractive? That's the Twilight Zone episode. Get that fuel out. It's not even a full canister. What did I pay for this again? Better not have been too much. I guess now is not the time to work that out, is it? This should last one more night. It's like one night's worth of fuel. Let me go see if I have any more shit to sell. Do I have any bandages? Did I sell them all? I sold them all. Um, maybe I should carry these with me just for trading purposes. I still don't know what the fucking... Uh, car batteries for, though. That's, that's worrisome. That one. I'm not giving that one up. I'm not giving that up. Um, let's put this way. This way, but this way, this way, and this way. There you go. We'll save that for next time we trade. I'm sure, it would be nice to have that wristwatch so we knew when to head back to the cabin. Oh, you know what? In the rain, that camp is probably free of dogs. What happens if I just stand in the spooky spot long enough, I wonder? Dare I find out? Hmm. 
This also reminds me of Witch Hunt. Remember Witch Hunt, the Source Engine game? Never got very far in that. I just don't care for the gameplay loop. I fundamentally don't think it's a good game. Nope, I died. Fucking goddamn dogs. This is a good time to quit, as soon as I finish trading. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping the rope. I'm keeping the car battery. Actually. Oh, the trading guy isn't here. Never mind, I'm stupid. I guess I fucking saved the game and quit then, because we're over, or, we're past quitting time. We made some progress. We found the underground tunnels. We got some good items, did some good trades. Oh, we got the lay of the land. We got wood. We wasted a lot of fuel. I really, really, really wish I hadn't done that. I really wish I had, could fucking live according to my own rules. I kept saying over and over, I'm not going to fuck up this time. I'm not going to burn my fuel during the day. And what I wind up doing exactly... What, I guess... Fuck. I shouldn't punish myself too hard. You can't be on the, on the ball 24-7, can you? It just really makes me feel fatalist when... Even when I have it on my mind all the time, I can't remember to do one simple thing. That's the struggle, isn't it? Oh, not BRB. Pardon me. It's ending. Thank you all for joining. Um, sorry about the higher than normal incest content. I didn't realize uh, that was going to be part of tonight's entertainment. Edutainment, you might say. I learned a lot about psychology, I would, I think. Get at me again for more of this. I mean, not more, not more incest. More, like, non-incest related content. I mean, I can't guarantee, like, zero incest, but drastically less than there was tonight. On Wednesday, the 29th of this month, same ham time, same ham channel, that's 7 o'clock West Coast time to 11 o'clock PM. This is Ham Dad signing off and returning you to your regularly scheduled eight hours of unconsciousness.